Docking request accepted. Okay, drone bay, ice harvesting drone. Okay. Now, uh, undock. Drive active. Venomous Rebels Industries. Mail activities, finance, ship, social mail. Skill issue. Too long to read. Mac is bad. Bye. Too long, man. Yeah, I mean, you are leaving me alone forever. No, no. Luck. Lel. I don't know. I don't care about what. Luck. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ, listen to these fucking losers. Anyway. Venomous Rebels Industries. Who are these people? of Ibis. Looks good, getting good frames. So, uh, value, or no, sorry, what am I doing? I am here looking at, um, no, I think I have everything I need. I am, oh, yes, I'm setting the in. Respawn point activated to here, and I can always go home to my, to my thing. I broke myself, and, and, and it kind of sucked, but I mean, I'm getting stuff done, which is good. Uh, yeah, Alchemist Ignatius and this one. Let's go to that one. Yep.
Desert Sunrise. Take a thousand G. How much you give me for a thousand G? You do a hundred for a thousand. No, I don't want to fucking harass this guy. I'll just, you know, worry about it later.
Am I there yet? Oh, there we go. Yes, I did. I believe I am uh, at max reputation. And now we go. Yeah, I finally did it. That was the last one, guys. I don't have to chain these anymore. I can do other stuff like farming and stuff. I'm paying more attention to other games. Um, but I did want to unlock the featherweight and, and the ability to do all my other legendaries and stuff. So, But, uh, yes, we have a quest to do, it appears. Uh, let me see where I'm supposed to be anyways. Uh, map. Uh, where is this now? What are we doing? Oh, I see. There it is. Cognitile trial. There we go. Bethesda's dead. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not here to make an apology video, ladies and gentlemen. I think Todd Howard needs to make an apology video. No, I'm sighing because I'm looking at the release date of Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, March mm -hmm. 20, 2006. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to just preface this and say you could literally start a legal uh, relationship with this game, and it would be completely 100% legal. Elder Scrolls Oblivion is literally old enough to provide consent. Okay, some of you people watching this video aren't even that old, all right? You, you probably are past the release date of this game, okay? You were born after. And if that is the case, then God do I feel old. Now, why am I showing you Oblivion's release date so hard? Well, I think this is genuinely the point where Bethesda truly died and made, you know, stopped making good games. So obviously mm -hmm. Fallout 3 is a game that I put hours into, but am I going to say is, is, is it as impressive as Oblivion? No. no. Skyrim was one of those games where if you ever played Elder Scrolls from the beginning, and I played the older games, Arena, Daggerfall, I'll throw Morrowind because of the uh, you know combat systems, but if you ever played old school Daggerfall, if you ever played old school Morrowind or Oblivion, I think it's personally safe to say Skyrim doesn't really hold up a candle to it. It's a lot more casualized, and I, I feel like it's a game made or, you know, the Call of Duty audience who can come in and be like, yeah, I play single-player stuff. I play that dragon mm -hmm. game. I took an arrow to the knee. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason why we're talking about Bethesda today is, if you haven't noticed, if you haven't caught on to it, they actually released a new big expansion pack. The only expansion pack for this game known as Starfield. Now, about a year ago, me and collectively everyone on the internet who actually played video games, you know, took off their pants, squatted all over this game, and laid a big giant turd sandwich on it. And you want to know why that is? Is because the game genuinely did suck. Now, before there's some people who are out there like, but I really like Starfield, okay? All right, look, I like getting my nuts kicked in every once in a while. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily make it a generally enjoyable experience for the average person, okay? We all have something we like that is genuinely shit. That being said, let me talk a little bit about space games. I love space games, okay? I wish I was born 500 years later so I could fucking explore the stars. Yeah, I like Elon I'm mine. not. I'm born in 2000. I'm born in 1994, okay? I live in the year 2024. We are a long way away from getting into a goddamn ship and flying our asses to Neptune, okay? It's not happening in my lifetime, and I get it, all right? It freaks me out, but whatever. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? That's why I like space games. I love playing me some Elite Dangerous. I love playing me some No Man's Sky. And you know what? Even though it's abusive, I love playing Star Citizen. So, of course, a guy like me would be riled up, ready to take it in the ass by Todd Howard just to play another game in space. So, anyways, I get myself a copy of Starfield. Let me tell you something right now. Starfield is just one of those games where it has the procedural uh, generation hopes and dreams of No Man's Sky. But it produces quite possibly the most boring reasons to explore any part of the universe, okay? There's literally no reason to explore planets that are quite literally a centimeter of water deep, all right? Quite li I'm not even going to use the analogy, oh man, wide as an ocean, deep as a puddle. No, no, this shit has less water volume, less depth than the puddle, okay? That's how boring exploration is in Starfield. 
In reality, it's like Bethesda made like six different maps or cities and just cut them up into pieces and distributed them along the galaxy. That's pretty much the only thing I can put into. Now, Starfield, the worst game ever made? No, clearly, clearly not, obviously, okay? All right, obviously not, not, not even being the case whatsoever. Spider Solitaire exists. But ladies and gentlemen, Starfield is just one of those games where it was quite possibly so boring that even modders who were making like cooperative mods for older games decided to stop making their mods because they were like, bro, this game is actual dog cheeks, and it is. So a year passes, all right, and look, there's plenty of games that come out with like the worst experience possible. May I remind you about Cyberpunk 2077? That game released and it ran worse than, well, really anything, okay? It literally couldn't run well on the Xbox One, really couldn't run well on the <laughs> PlayStation 4, and it required the Series X and the Pro console for the PlayStation 4 to actually, you know, kind of touch that 30 frames per second dream. And if you were playing on PC, yeah, you could get higher frame rates, but no matter who you were, the game was buggy as hell. There was a lot of content that was promised, but wasn't actually released, wasn't a part of the game. I'm looking at you, car customization. I'm looking at you, police chases. There's a lot of stuff in Cyberpunk 2077's yeah. release that destroyed the reputation of the actual company making it, yeah. which until then was pristine, and the game was hyped to no end. So about I don't know about pristine. I bought all three of the Witcher games and was unhappy with, with two and three. And one was too early and too weird. And, like, I'm sorry. It just was like, you know, I don't know. Like, I, I guess, uh, I don't know. I Maybe just see it differently. Travel to the Enclave. Leth Lethold. You seem to be glitched or something. Lethold. Reset. Yes. And then, where do I do? Where do I go? What's this now? Beza and Lethold. Oh, is it, it says Elysium Wilds? Okay, what do I do in the Elysium Wilds? You're not telling me what to do. Uh... Travel to the Enclave. Travel to the Enclave. I do not see what they want me to do. Travel to... Oh, they want me to fast travel somewhere? Yeah, but where? Travel to the Enclave where? Let's go look at it. The fucking Google. Am I uh, just sitting there? No. Yes, I am. Yeah. You have a lot of money today. Warp drive active. Uh, New World Covenant. Uh, Covenant Advancement Paladin. Maybe I need to like relog or something. There.
Okay, they're saying that I need to go to Elysian Wilds to Last Light, I guess. I'm going to go do that. I don't really understand, but okay. Go, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, but where do I go? Trial of the Paladin. Oh, oh, Trial of the Paladin. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There we go. So you want me to go where, though? You're not giving me, like, a fucking where to go, though. Okay, well, travel to Trial the Paladin. I want you to pin. Unpin. Map. Where do I go? You, like, aren't telling me where... Okay, it travels to the old first light. Oh, that's last light. Oh, here we go. Now it's showing me a symbol. There we go. I see it now. I see it now. Solo, pirate, life for the me is, is the right life for me. I feel like Russell Crowe, but I don't have all the jackasses on my ship holding me back. And the doctor doesn't, I don't even have the doctor, so I don't have to like go back to the Galapagos Islands or anything dumb. I'm just the best one on the ship. I steer this ship and I'm the best one. I'm better than everybody. I'm kidding. Schwa, schwa. Dude, what got the master? Ooh. These are angry earth? Yeah, so we'll use this and that and that. And, um, oh, I'm out of mining food, huh? Oh, well, that's all right. And then, uh, I love this game. The combat's actually good. It's not some lie. Combat's actually good, you know? Mmm, wordwood.
It's gonna be so fun on the 15th. I can't fucking wait. The Phantom Liberty expansion and patch 2.0, which literally fixed almost everything wrong with the game. I mean, it's to a point where instead of complaining about Cyberpunk 2077, if you have Cyberpunk 2077, I bought it twice. I bought it twice. I bought it over two years before and after the fucking the 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 DLC, and I thought it sucked both times so bad I didn't want to play it ever again. Nope. Expansion. They have added so much to the game and fixed so many I don't care. and overhauled the game that you they genuinely fixed that can game. have a good time playing Cyberpunk uh, 2077. If it was released right now, I genuinely think it could win Game of the Year, okay? But that's how a company should take it. If you release it out, you know, you should own it and you should release your full product. I'm not going to give CD Projekt Red, like, big praise for that. They should have done it in the first place. But instead of letting your game die and fester, they have basically fixed it up and made it a massive IP again. And people are genuinely excited for the next sequel in that game. Me included, okay? Obviously with reservations. That means no pre-orders and no overhyping bullshit for yourself. So Starfield, in stark contrast, decided instead of overhauling the game, usually in a year release of a Bethesda game, whether you look at Fallout or Elder Scrolls the last time they released that, at least in Fallout's case, they would have like, I think it was four, they had like at least a couple expansion packs or story packs. In Starfield's case, this was the only expansion that was coming out, Shattered Space. So for 40 fucking dollars, okay, 40 dollars, we ended up basically getting a couple story missions, okay, you're talking about a game that you could finish in like four to five hours if you decided to beat it all the way through. I mean, you're talking about one planet only, meaning that the core actual thing about Starfield where, hey, you should go to multiple different planets and explore the world, that all gets relegated to one handcrafted planet, which granted feels a lot more this? depthful than like all, that's not even oh, a word, bro. I'm like, Bethesda's cooking me. It's a game that is a planet that has a lot more depth than at least all the other thousands of planets that exist in the goddamn galaxy. Absolutely, at least the only positive perk in my opinion, which again, it's like, it proves that you really didn't need to have all those planets. They could have designed this game with just one galaxy that you would fly back and forth between and just have actual handcrafted planets versus the dog shit exploration we ended up getting with the final release. You end up getting, like, I think somewhere around, like, a couple new weapons. Literally a couple new pieces of, like, uh, you know, armor. And as far as when it comes to gameplay features, which is something you kind of expect from expansion packs, I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. No new goddamn gameplay features. So, yes, this makes an expansion pack, which is priced at the same price as Cyberpunk's Phantom Liberty, suddenly enticeable by Bethesda and they were hyping this up like bro get ready to come back to Starfield we're about to have a bang in time now if you look at the reviews for this uh, dog water you can see that it's got 58 a on Metacritic, 58 and I think that's just a little bit generous <laughs> like Xbox era going Starfield's first expansion is an excellent dive why am I doing the Peter Griffin into one of the game's key pieces of lore there are answers to be had Liar! Liar, new. sir. And it's all wrapped up in one of the best Same old schlock. Seen in a video game Same old schlock. This man has not played many video games. Goddamn. Give this man a copy of Cyberpunk 2077. Fuck, even on the Nintendo Switch, and it would look better than this. This is a solid 10 hour adventure you don't want to miss. Now, I would say that adventure is more closer to 40 hours because, genuinely speaking, playing this expansion put me to sleep quicker than the fucking forklift section in Shenmue. And we're not joking there. God damn, this was boring. So, if you're trusting Xbox Era's review, the reason why I singled them out is this is the same publication that decided to give games like Redfall an 85 on <laughs> When it comes to critics, what? double check them like you check your news sources, okay? There's always a good chance that an Xbox platform, 85 like, Sony, like PlayStation review like play, play, like a PlayStation review house, you know, not giving a bad review to the worst uh, PlayStation games that come out. So obviously the more accurate thing is something like 50, a 50, a 40 in some cases, which again I still think is a bit too high for an expansion pack <laughs> like this in the first place. The only the only actual benefit I can give this is that it works music. underneath Linux I'm sure the uh, pretty good. well. It works underneath Linux. That's the only, <laughs> the only phrase that I'm relying on. Okay. 
Okay, the, the fact that it runs under Linux well enough. It's ridiculous. If that's the only praise I'm giving, then clearly you understand that the expansion pack is quite possibly one of the biggest letdowns out there. Which makes Starfield quite possibly one of my biggest letdown purchases of last year's gaming, okay? Yes, this is that bad of an expansion. You know, for that amount of money, you might as well just buy like a Mass Effect game or like the entire trilogy at this point. I'm sure you can get it for the same price as what they're showing here and have a far better time. Now, personally, do I have any <laughs> what? expectations for Bethesda? Did this the Mass I Effect trilogy? No, given how Starfield launch and the amount of actual updates they've done to the game, which is from my understanding, added a uh, land vehicle with great you, you did something that no man's sky did like a year ago most most exploration games do by the way uh the fact that uh they added in cleaner map screens if that's what we're getting excited by oh boy do we have really low fucking expectations if you're gonna spend money on this you might as well buy something like no man's sky if you really want to explore planets and actually play multiplayer and have a good goddamn time the fact that Bethesda thinks they can charge even a $40 price tag, which I'm pretty sure No Man's Sky alone costs less than this experience by a, you know, by a margin, you might as well spend your money there, okay? And if you're, you know, the thing that I've learned about this is obviously if this is how much care and effort Bethesda is putting into their new Starfield IP, I genuinely don't think I have any hope left for something like Elder Scrolls Six down the road. Given the fact that I wasn't already a big fan of Skyrim because of how over-casualized some of the mechanics were in comparison to previous Elder Scrolls games, yeah. I don't even fucking believe that Bethesda is going to put a lying fucking care into Elder Scrolls 6 as soon as that ends up coming out. If that ever ends up coming out. If that ever gets showcased. But ladies and gentlemen, yeah, Starfield is without a doubt one of the biggest disappointments I have ever seen in video gaming. And I actually kind of had a little bit of hope for this. I was thinking maybe they were gonna overhaul this. Maybe. If there was a there was a part, like a childish aspect of me that was like, Ben Muda, maybe it'll be like Phantom Liberty. Maybe you might like put hundreds of hours into this game. You might actually play this space game that you were excited for. No. No, I should have I should have killed that part, that childish aspect of me and just grown the fuck up and realized this is Bethesda of now. They're not Bethesda of old. They're not Bethesda mm -mm. in the Morrowind days, that's for sure. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, it was good. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, for and subscribe. Just that's like how it, I just feel. Like it. Ah, I'm out. Let's listen to Mr. Matty Plays. All right, a few things to open up this review with. Before I don't like Mr. Matty Plays. I'll tell you right now, I don't like him. He cheats on his wife. He's an asshole. And he's got the girl repelling in the fucking background and everything I dislike about gaming right now. But, oh, look, other people came to my to my belt. Cool. Um, any of them nasty? I'm starting to look for all the block signs. we get into the meat and potatoes of it first and foremost this is going to be a heavily critical ranty starfield shattered space review and i'm warning you in advance because i know there's a lot of people who are enjoying it and if you are enjoying it i'm not here to take your joy away never does my content exist to tell you you're wrong for enjoying something or not enjoying something it's just to offer my opinion so please take it as such secondly bethesda did not offer review codes for this i thought it was a little suspicious when i learned that it's not just content creators but press as well was not getting review codes and after playing the game on series x for about 16 hours it made sense why because i didn't think the performance was very good we'll get into that and last but not least because i've done this for so long i've had the opportunity to unfortunately read a lot about myself over these years i've been doing this since i was 13 years old and in particular with my review style content, depending on the subject matter, the game, the situation surrounding it, sometimes angry Maddie will come out to play, but other times I'll be a little more level headed. Other times I'll be totally cool with something. I'll be excited for something. It depends on the situation. And naturally that bothers a lot of people because they can't put you in a box and say, Maddie is this one thing. He is all these things because he is human and there's things he likes and doesn't like. And so when there's inconsistency, like, oh, Maddie likes Starfield a lot, but he doesn't like Shattered Space much it makes people lose their mind because they can't put you in that box but in particular when i get very mad at something people are like yeah i love this version of you matt why don't you do this more often and the answer is simple the internet is not an with grifters bullshitters and liars who will happily profit off of your hype or your anger whatever is fitting their prerogative they'll happily do that where i just exist to deliver to you my authentic opinion and you take it leave it whatever it may be i'm cool with but in particular, I always try to take a level-headed, educated approach to my game's coverage because 
A, I try to be a responsible voice in gaming, but B, when something really does bother me, I feel completely at liberty to tee off because I have been patient. And with Starfield, as someone who did like the game a lot at launch, put over 100 hours into it, did all the faction storylines, did a lot of the side content, and said, hey, this is great, it's my least favorite Bethesda Game Studios IP, but I think this has the highest ceiling, I was very excited for Starfield Shattered Space. You can watch all of my pre-launch coverage, very much into the idea of what Bethesda was selling, which was, hey, this is like Far Harbor, this is all handcrafted, this is highly explorable. Music to my ears. I really thought this was like a no-fail scenario for Bethesda Game Studios, but what it started to feel like as I played more and more of it was almost like cut content that's just being added on into the game. I have a lot of thoughts, but I've done everything from the main story to a lot of the side content, met all of the companions inside the DLC. I even tested for the main story to see if there was any sort of impact on the Unity, which there is not, spoiler alert. So yes, I was extremely thorough, as I always try to be, but I need to make that clear here because I'm already seeing how apparently reviewers are rushing this. When I was sick all day on Monday, as you know, I didn't post anything on Monday. I was sick all day, so I had a lot of time with Shattered Space then. I got to play a lot of it on Tuesday, and I played a lot of it today, and I'm here to deliver my review on the experience thus far. So to open things up, Number one thing you should know is that this is buggy. In one way in particular, it was really upsetting how it was buggy. I liked it, it was Andreja. fun. For those who don't watch any of my Starfield coverage, I adore the character Andreja. I think she is so well written, which I know goes against what people say online. Like, no, there's no way Bethesda Game Studios has written anything good ever. But I think Andreja's character and how it focuses on religion and sort of how we can all relate to it on different levels, whether you're for religion or against religion, I feel like she's a character that has something very interesting to say, especially if you romance her because your whole storyline with her is, hey, our love is on a timer. And when I go back to House Faroon, I don't know what's gonna happen to us. And that made her, to me at least, so compelling because I think romance in games is done so horribly most of the time that I really feel like Andreja was a truly extremely Aww. compelling character. That was another reason I was so excited for Shattered Space to get more of Andreja. My favorite character probably since like Nick Valentine in Fallout 4 when it comes to BGS games like she is awesome and it was really disappointing to learn that there are bugs that prohibit her from commenting on things. There are major steps in the quest line choices that you're going to make that it seems like Andreja is supposed to respond to or supposed to react to that just don't play out whatsoever. In particular, I tested multiple endings for Shattered Space, both the good ending and the bad ending. And in the case of the good ending, she did not react at all. And in the bad ending, I'm I got done. Two I finally capped this character's two. Uh, and she didn't even uh, leave faction me. level. I just got two lines of disappointment, and that was it. As for the good, it wasn't until I loaded in a following day later and tried it again, and it just randomly procced. And it was a few more lines, but it definitely was like, hey, thanks for everything. Really appreciate you. And it felt like it lacked the depth and the finality that I feel her character needed with this particular Aww. story and the investment that she brought to that story. It just Poor felt guy. like it was completely left to the wayside. But combine that with bugs that prohibited any sort of response from her, and it really felt a little more hollow than I expected on that front. And as someone who was very driven by her character, that's one of my biggest disappointments with the DLC. She does have moments all throughout quest lines where she can react to things, she'll talk to things, as you would with your Starfield companions, but you really can, particularly in side quests, use Andreja to like convince people of things like, hey, speak for me. And anytime that option was available, I was doing it because again, I love her character. So it's lacking in that department, whether it be by bugs or sometimes by quality. It just really felt hollow to me, and that was easily my biggest disappointment. But for many people, they don't like. Bethesda I should have gotten an achievement for that. It was the hardest part of, of the game. At Shattered Space is the turnaround moment. Like, Took can I forever. reinstall the game? Can I get what I was looking for from Starfield in Shattered Space? Because, as many people have tracked, with Starfield exploration felt very bad because you would just be going through a bunch of loading screens, and it didn't have that sense of wandering. Shattered. Space Space does allow you to wander and the feeling it got in my body when I stepped out of Dazdra and I looked over this entire environment and went oh my god like I see points of interest and I can go and wander to was ever space 2 the game that they said was better than No Man's Sky and Starfield I think that was the name of it Everspace to base building, right? I don't think you can. Nice, and that was eight months ago, so. 
But no, I don't think you can. Uh, yeah, explore and build here. Let's look the at this. Way to build this is from the Let's here. Themselves. This is a, this is the video I need to rewatch. Like this is what I've been looking for. Yeah. Space, the final frontier. I think there was something smart I was supposed to say after that, but I, I got nothing. Basically, if you like space games, today we're talking about twenty great ones. Whether you're building planets, flying ships, fighting armies, or just exploring. We've got a fun selection. Now I can buy my chromatic seal. Today, so let's get started off with number 20. Deliver Us the Moon is a cool, creative, kind of genre-bending adventure. Essentially, you're stuck on the moon in the near future, and it's a moon that's fully developed because Earth's natural resources are depleted, so humanity has figured out how to essentially use the moon to their advantage. But here, it's totally empty. You're just a lone astronaut sent up there to essentially save humanity, and the pressure is definitely on. What's cool is that throughout this adventure, you get to explore these facilities, you get to be in space, float in zero gravity, explore the surface of the moon, essentially launch a rocket, thanks to the game jumping between first and third person, uh, and a bunch of different little scenarios of things you need to do. You need to escape something, you need to figure out a puzzle. The game is paced really, really well, and while it is set in the future, it does a good job of just feeling very spacey. It's very moon core. That that 5,000 gold, I've got a farm now. RTX Damn it on PC, uh, so it's looking pretty damn good. The game has been out since 2019, but it is definitely worth checking out. Next over at number 19, we have Faster Than Light. Now, at first... I want to see what people say about Cactus Flesh. Zone. What's up, everybody? Thank you, Rob. When I'd like, I'd like to uh, sub to your channel. This flesh can come from any cactus in the brimstone sand zone, but in this circled area of the map, you will find a lot of cactuses and yeah, that's where I usually go together, yep. allowing you to easily and quickly gather up a ton of cactus flesh. And that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Time to farm for like two video. solid fucking weeks. I, I like my mission part is done. I. I will uh, just farm now for a long time. That's okay. That's MMOs. At least I have a game I enjoy farming in, you know? I actually really enjoy it, frankly, like Rust. Feels really good. Um, I was thinking about trying No Man's Sky again, but I know that I don't really like No Man's Sky that much, and I'm looking for other games where you can build on a planet. And I, I, I understand now that I want to do building a little bit more. Not building, but I want to build a base and, 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 and enrich the base, you know? I don't want to build, but I want to I want to do the base. Maybe I should buy Icarus. I think that's got good base building, but I don't think the combat's good in it. I need something with good combat. And so let's see what he says about this. I just wanted to let you know that I plan on making a ton of videos for new whip, but I hope this video helps. Yeah, that's all I have to do, and then and like dose up. Um, yeah. So what am I at right now? Four seventy-eight. That's fine. We can just cap it out. Yeah, all those motherfuckers. Yep. And I forget where the good stuff is at. But it's all of this. I'm just gonna hit, hit all of this, and I come out and I do a uh, this thing and a spicy steak pie, which gives you harvesting. And that's what mature cactus gives you, right? Yep. And oh no, it's logging. It's logging. No, no, no. I did the wrong one. I'm sorry. So we want logging. Yep. Yeah, sorry. So and then we just do logging. And thankfully, I am a very skilled logger with 14 meta levels or 14 schmeckle levels or whatever the fuck you call it in the, in the fucking in logging. So I, I get these things down quick. And this is a good thing for me to do. I'll just farm and watch videos while First I do glance, this. And... This game might look a little boring, but yeah, it's awesome. FTL it's is one good. One of my all-time favorites, and essentially, it's a roguelike spaceship building simulator where you're worried about rooms and how you build out the ship and how you task each room with your crew, how you manage different power systems and swapping yeah. things around to manage for like prioritizing nah, weapons. I thought Kerbal shields. was cooler every than this. Every single encounter, every single adventure is randomly generated, and it is brutally hard. The decisions you have to make here are pretty 
pretty challenging. It's very strategic, but fairly accessible and easy to get into. This is essentially a really good gameplay simulation of watching like a Star Trek movie or show where the captain is barking commands to all the crewmates to do certain things with the ship, like taking evasive maneuvers or powering all shields. This game gives you that thrill, that excitement, but also the strategy behind those commands. It's been out since 2012 and it's still legendary for a reason. Next over at number 18, of course, we have the Homeworld games. There's most recently Homeworld 3, but if you're looking for the original, time-tested, best games, you have the Homeworld Remastered Collection. Homeworld is essentially a fleet battling RTS. It had multiplayer, but it had a single player campaign and it's all focused around making things realistic. Yes, you're in big futuristic spaceships, but it feels very tactical. It feels very militaristic and not very showy or flashy. It's all just presented. It all just goes down as if it's a real actual thing. And they do a really good job with that. Not to mention the fact that the arenas and the battles are all fully 3D in space, giving you a massive degree of freedom in how you tackle your battles. If you like big old ships and managing all your different units and strategies and how each ship goes into formation, but in a three-dimensional plane, Homeworld is really cool. There's not enough time to really sell it here, but if you like the gameplay you see on screen here, you should check it out. Next over at number 17, we have the Universe Sim. Uh, essentially, this is a planet simulator. You're managing a society, a civilization, and it starts out very small, but it very quickly ramps up through generations and generations where you're managing this civilization across a variety of different planets. So while yes, it's not the most spacey game, you're not floating around in space, but the fact that you are overlooking these entire planets and managing a civilization between them and the ability to essentially zoom out and view these planets, almost like Mario Galaxy style, it's really, really unique. It's from Crytivo. It only released earlier this year, but it is incredibly unique, especially if you like kind of like civilization or city builder games. This one really makes you feel like a space god in a lot of ways. Next over at number 16, we have Breathage. This is essentially something like Subnautica, but in space. It is a straight up survival game with all the survival game trappings, but set in outer space uh, with a dash of creativity and humor to it. You're just a regular spaceman guy uh, with an immortal chicken. <laughs> so you see what I'm getting at here, but it's not all silly stuff because you're floating around in zero gravity trying to figure out what happened. You're essentially scrounging space station wreckage and like asteroids to find crafting components to build up your gear, build up your space station and ultimately survive. It's got all the open world survival crafting, building ship, building areas and stuff like that, but it just feels a cut above. It's got some creativity to it, some humor to it and a nice narrative. It released in 2021 and and people loved it. Next over at number 15, we have Chorus, or I mean, if, if you've ever seen the marketing for it, Corv, Corvs, C-H-O-R-V-S, it's technically called Chorus, and this game is awesome. I mean, look at it on screen here. It is a science fiction aerial dogfighting game. So if you love anything from like the old Star Wars X-Wing versus TIE Fighter games, or you know, maybe something like Star Fox 64, Chorus really takes things to the next level with like a narrative and just really, really cool ship weapons and abilities. It can actually get pretty chaotic and trippy. Like borderline shoot em up, but with really, really good ship maneuverability, beautiful environments, and just a lot of chaotic action. It's a few years old, but there's still a demo available if you're interested. Next over at number 14, if you want something you can play more endlessly, it's Stellaris. Stellaris, the easiest, most reductive way to describe it is civilization, but in space. So it's built technically as sci-fi grand strategy and you're discovering planets, you're inhabiting galaxies, you're expanding your control, you're discovering new alien races, and essentially seeing how far through space you can push your empire. You have alien races, you have diplomacy, you have economic stuff, but all in some really intuitive and nicely laid out menus and just really good space visuals. Despite it being a game about making decisions and clicking things in menus, it, it still manages to capture the wonder of space and that's important. Next over at number 13, we have Moonbase Alpha. This one's been out for quite some time. It released in 2010, but the interesting thing about it is that it was published by NASA. So this is like for real for space nerds. It's a free to play space simulation where you're free to like take your first steps on the moon. And essentially you're tasked with figuring out this complex puzzle of repairing a damaged settlement on the moon, giving it power again, you know, getting life support systems up and running. And you're doing this 
multiplayer. You're doing this with friends. So it's a cool little experience. It's not super long and the visuals aren't like going to blow your mind or anything, but it's free to play. It's free to download. And like I said, it's published by NASA and that's just an interesting oh, yeah. little thing in video game history. So we figured we'd Go mention NASA. it. It makes sense on a list like this. I still Next won't over play it. 12, we have Astroneer, an open world survival crafting game uh, spanning multiple planets, either alone or with friends. You're exploring these beautiful, colorful planets. You're scratching for resources and you're building bases either on the surface or underground and the bases you can build are absolutely awesome from there you can get really creative with friends uh, run around with vehicles engage in mini games float around in zero g uh, there's a lot of depth for this game a surprising amount it's from 2016 but it's still worth checking out now over at number 11 we have kerbal space program uh, don't let the silly presentation fool you even though we got these little minion-like aliens and all their goofy antics, this game is the real deal and pretty hardcore. I love Essentially, Turbo. you're tasked with building I can't play a really it, but I love it. spacecraft that will like take off from the ground and go to space. So, so you're essentially tasked with developing the research, coming up with the components, actually building and crafting this ship, worrying about the fuel, the aerodynamics, and, and getting these things off the ground. There's a lot more to it. I'm kind of glossing over a lot of it, but it's actually an incredibly addictive gameplay formula uh, that people have been loving for years. As of right now, there is Kerbal Space Program 2, but it's in early access. And unfortunately, we don't really know if it's ever gonna reach the end of its development cycle, but thankfully we always have the original game. Next over at number 10, we have Endless Space 2. This is a pretty over the top 4X game. So if you like strategy, hopping from galaxy to galaxy, expanding your empire, engaging intense ship battles, this thrilling turn-based game might be for you. Uh, there's a ton of customization for your fleets, tons of strategic depth, and also just some incredible visuals. I mean, look at this. We love a game like this, where even though it's focused on the hardcore strategy and looking at all the numbers and making the tough choices, it, it doesn't forget to stop and showcase the fact that space is beautiful. Next over at number nine, we have Everspace 2. The best way to build this is from the developers themselves. It's a fast paced single player spaceship shooter. So it's got all the aerial combat and intense battles you would want. You're a really cool fast fighter trying to take down other ships, but there's exploration here as well as action. So you're flying around space, you're flying down to planet surfaces and you're engaging in a story, but also discovering loot, crafting upgrades, all that stuff. Everspace 2 just does a really good job of giving these types of games more. Usually they're just focused on the moment to moment shooting essentially getting through the level but Everspace 2 feels like a real RPG adventure within your fighter. Next over number eight we have something totally different it's Hard Space Shipbreaker. This game is absolutely awesome because you're essentially a salvage guy. You're taking ships and space stations apart. That's the name of the game here. To float around through space and essentially destroy scrap salvage stuff. The way it simulates you using your tools to cut apart these ships is incredibly satisfying. It's really, really addictive. There's a whole campaign for this where like you're going through, you're scrapping different ships and stuff. You're upgrading your tools. Things are paced. They get more interesting. There's also a, a free play mode. Either way, this game is like essentially a job simulator where you are a ship breaker. You're tearing these suckers apart and it's awesome. Next over at number seven, we have Surviving Mars. This game is like a classic by now, if you ask me. If you like building colonies or like a city builder type game, essentially here, <laughs> you want to colonize Mars. And you're dealing with the fact that Mars is very tough to live on. You're developing technology, you're developing resources to expand civilization on Mars while dealing with the fact that like the planet is constantly trying to kill you and resources are slight. It's from the people who made the Tropico games. It's from the publisher of City Skyline. So they knew what they were doing with this one. If you like a city builder, but you like a little bit of a space challenge to it that adds a lot of tension, Surviving Mars is definitely worth taking a look at. Next over at number six, we have Starfield. Yes, Bethesda's newest RPG is divisive. Some fans love it, some fans don't, but it's a space game list, so we have to include it. You're a member of Constellation and you're going out there exploring the mysteries of space. Uh, there's a whole mystery to unravel, but alongside that, you're exploring planets, you're meeting people, you're finding random quests and learning about all these different little cities and little establishments of civilization. All the while shooting bad guys, exploring uncharted planets that are some kind of a little dull, but also building out your ship. This game has really satisfied. <laughs> it's cool as hell. 
I don't necessarily know if Starfield is going to be considered like one of the best games ever, but if you like the comfort food of a Bethesda style game and you know what you're in for, this is essentially one of those, but in space. Next over at number five, we have The Outer Wilds. This is a tough one to explain without spoiling anything, but essentially it's a run-based game where you're in a solar system essentially trapped in an endless time loop, where at the end of the loop, the solar system is destroyed. So it's up to you to figure out the ins and outs of exploring this system in a limited amount of time and getting to the bottom of this whole mystery. You're on a planet, you hop I forgot on to ship, change my fly, set. I'm explore, an idiot. And there is a lot to discover. Alien races, cool lore, and a compelling story that people absolutely fell in love with. Most people that have played Outer Wilds end up counting it as like one of their favorite games of all time. This one is a big deal and is still overlooked by some people. It's probably one of the more unique space games on this list, but it really gives you that feel of a space adventure. Now down at number four, we have something totally different with EVE Online. EVE Online is a massive game. The community is incredibly hardcore. They've developed economies, rules, political systems inside the game where people go and live out their roles. All while navigating the universe in these massive, massive ships, engaging in battles, exploring, questing, you name it. It's free to play and entirely community driven. If it sounds a little overwhelming, it is, but thankfully, there is that massive community out there, so there are tons of resources and, and ways to learn how to get started. There's a reason people have been playing this thing since 2003. It's kind of like the World of Warcraft of outer space. Now down at number three, we have Elite Dangerous. This is another ship game, a massive multiplayer one where you're free to just hop in a ship and do whatever you want out in space. This one's a little bit more cutthroat than EVE Online. It's more about flying around in badass ships, being a mercenary, exploring, and it has a really, really good cockpit experience. What's cool here is that like real actual stars, planets, moons, asteroid fields, all that stuff that has been mapped out in our world is represented in the game. It's a massive playable space and there are tons of stories to be had living in the world of elite dangerous people discovered aliens i'm almost about to cap ago. 200 it's been a uh, 200 on this one now coming down at number two we have the mass effect legendary edition this is a collection of mass effect one two and three the definitive space rpgs from bioware Bullshit. these games are remastered and beautiful to play and they're just incredible not only are they just good solid rpgs with no, cool are. combat character building big decisions to make that change the ramification of the story like just tons of games. player choice and characters and lore to fall in love with but also it's just a good representation of space you really get a sense of like the wonder, the mysteries of the universe. The fact that there are tons of alien races out there and cool planets, and you're just on the Normandy plotting your next destination. There are plenty of RPGs that are sci-fi or take place in space, but they don't really feel spacey. Mass Effect nails it. You really feel like the commander of a ship. You have a crew, you're floating through space, and you don't know what kind of adventure you're gonna get in next. There's a reason people fell in love with these games, and they are so worth playing if you never jumped in. Now down at number one, No Man's Sky. Yes, No Man's Sky. I can't believe I'm saying that because I played No Man's Sky at launch. It had the potential, but the game was undercooked and unfinished. Thankfully, the developers put their money where their mouth was. Uh, they took everybody buying the game and they worked on it and they made an incredible space game. The game is still being updated to this day with more content and crazy new stuff. The amount of depth and things to discover in this game are downright staggering. You have the freedom to have your own ship, do whatever you want with it, land on whatever planet you want, take off, build a base somewhere else, warp to another galaxy, go on adventures, play with friends, follow a narrative. No Man's Sky at this point has a little bit of everything, but thankfully it's still about how cool space is and how truly gorgeous it can be. The game is available in VR, it's on every platform, and I'm just so glad that this game finally turned out to be good because it was a disaster at launch from a PR standpoint for sure. But they put in the work and the bottom line is at the end of the day, there's another great game out there. No Man's Sky is an awesome space adventure. 
We've also got a couple of bonus games for you because we just can't help ourselves. The first is Heavenly Bodies. If you're looking for something like a little bit more physics based, kind of like a puzzler where you have to squeeze your way through tricky environments. None of this was it except for No Man's Sky. And I guess I'll return to No Man's Sky if it doesn't have EAC. And there's another game I want to look at uh, that I recall called um, Icarus. Guns, nerds, and steel, huh? Yeah, let's take a look at this. Yep, there we go. Captain's Log, Day 1. After a three-month assignment on Olympus, the UDA has transferred me to Prometheus. The conditions here are reported to be harsh, with extreme weather, dangerous creatures, and challenging missions. A significant step up from Olympus, or so the other prospectors say. Welcome request accepted. But there's a certain comfort in going back to Icarus. Minos looming overhead, and even though I'm 4.5 light years from Earth, this place feels strangely familiar, almost like home. It's a shame what that terraforming disaster has done to the place, but at least the pay is good. Main objectives, establish a secure base, evaluate resource potential, and map the area. Risks are high, but I'm ready enough. We'll report back with updates as I progress. Tamraki out. Okay, it is 9.49 in the morning, and the three-day forecast is looking okay. We've got a lot of work to do. We need shelter and tools ASAP. A bit of grass, a couple of sticks, a little bit of extra oxite for the Enviro suit. Speaking of that, I actually have some tools here in the ship. Here we go, some holdovers from the last mission. The Shendong Zhijing Bo, we'll drop that on the hotbar here. The Larkwell Martinez tactical backpack, I'll toss that on my back. And a mass dampener module giving me plus 10% movement speed, which is on the ground now. Where'd that go? There it is. So this backpack should yeah, I think that increased my carrying capacity a little bit. You can see it over there. The backpack opened up a little bit. And the mass dampener module is already in the Enviro suit. The Enviro suit is on my body. And I actually have 20 levels. What do I need to do here? Yeah, I actually have 30 talent points as well. I need to actually just get a lay of the land first and see what I need. And then spend my skill points wisely from there. So let's start off. We're going to need uh, stone arrows for sure, though. So go bow, arrow, and then bow and arrow as well. That's kind of like the, the mainstay for the, the bow here. So now we need to get some stone arrows, do some hunting, get some bones, and then make some bone arrows, and also get some basic tools. I need some very small rocks. Why aren't there any rocks here? Scratch that. I have some rocks in my inventory. Okay, give me the stone pickaxe first. And I'll start chopping this boulder up here. That should be good for a stone axe and whatever else I can do here for stone arrows. Yeah, let's try to get like 20 or so of those. I know there are some hostile creatures around here somewhere. For now, let's get some inventory carrying capacity. We'll get two points into that perhaps. Better stone mining, better yield by harvesting by hand, and increased wood from felling. Ah, increased base movement speed. Give me just all three of those. Increase base health. I'll take all those as well. Reduced hunger rate. Oh my god, it was just easy mode already. Reduced thirst rate. Sure, take all of these. Oh, there's a boar over there. Should we test our combat skills? We're gonna need some bones, so let's go for it. Stealth mode activated. Level 10 boar. No chance. Right in the eye socket. I'm gonna need some kind of a knife to harvest this guy, I think. A bone knife? Bone spear stone knife over here okay that's what we need to start with a little bit of stone please fiber sticks stone knife and our first kill take all of this stuff we get leather fur bone and raw bacon oh that's the best right there nice and then we can just um what is it take the pickaxe here and kind of pickaxe these bones off of the carcass what we got here tomatoes nice I'm a little bit thirsty. Does that provide me any hydration by chance? What do we got here? Tomato. That is plus 30 maximum health, plus 20 food, it looks like. It's not much, but I'll take it. Just consume that. That'll increase my food just incrementally there. Maybe I'll consume a couple of those just to top off. Okay, we need to find some water, though. That is going to be an issue. Let's just take a look at the map here. We 
have explored much of this area, and I've also dropped in here temporarily. I accidentally miscalibrated the landing gear, and I landed in a swamp, so I just immediately shot back up into orbit. Now, we definitely want to be over here in Cotton Candy Land to start off with at least. Yeah, we want to live over here by the water, preferably near some resources as well. There's some trees over there, small forest, trees over here. We don't want to build long term we don't want to build out of wood though because <coughs> rolling through here and catch the whole place on fire pretty much oh my god there, yes there's a storm coming in right now just rain just some light rain but we should look for shelter in case it gets any worse where's this river go river goes to a lake there's a little island on this lake over here that could be kind of cool couldn't it Let's go scout that out. That's actually really close to the snow area, too. Okay, that could be dangerous. Let's let's just go take a peek. A pygmy lob is what this one is called. As on Earth, a survivor, <laughs> but not today. All right, we are pretty thirsty. Let's just hold to drink a little bit. I think that made me a little bit sick for the next four minutes. Yeah, it's not pure water. We got to work on some way to purify it. Yeah, tainted water. Of course, we're in the rain, and we got dysentery from that. Less nutrition from food. Uh, less duration for food effects. I guess it's not too big of a deal. I don't have good food yet anyway. Uh, the storm exposure, though, is getting real. And up in the corner there, you can see the worst of the storm is yet to come. I'm going to see if I can burrow a little bit of a shelter into this rock here. Don't mind me, buddy. All right, I burrowed in deep enough. My storm exposure is reducing. The worst of the storm has cleared. But I'm going to wait, kind of recoup my strength here a little bit. And while I'm waiting here, I'm going to go with... Oh, you can make dirt buildings? Wow. I'm gonna go with wood, though. Thatch, probably just too weak and, and too flammable, probably, as well. Wood base building set. I don't think I need the advanced stuff just yet. We'll, we'll build the advanced stuff with more advanced materials. That should get me going. I still have 61 points available. Okay. Yeah, one step at a time here. Are we ready to go out now? I think we're pretty good. All right, let's continue heading to the north, northwest, and see if we can find that cool potential base location. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oxygen low. Not good. Drop that oxide into my oxygen slot. My suit should be able to grind that up into real oxygen for me. And what we're going to do right now is see if we can take out Mama Moa over there. Oh, that was a <laughs> very close call there. And Baby Moa here. Juvenile. Press E to lead creature. And come with me, buddy. You're going to be my new best friend here soon. Oof. Right in the nostril. Oh, here we... Yes, right at the base of this waterfall. Oh, this is going to be a great place to build a base. We'll build a little bridge that goes right across. I don't suppose it'll protect me a whole lot, but, you know... It, it might, yeah, because animals can kind of swim, so... Yes, okay, base building location secure. We can do some fishing. We can drink water. We can take baths. Uh, is there anything hiding behind the waterfall? C can you believe it? I can swim up the waterfall. <laughs> Look, I'm so athletic. Ah, wow. <laughs> what a view up here inside the water. Okay, let's just go back down, please. And hopefully not break my leg on the bottom. Ooh, we're good. Oh, this is fun. I like this spot here. Oh, but the Terranus. The terrifying Terranus creatures. Whoop. Aim a little bit lower there. I'm gonna get him right behind the ear. Ooh, that did not kill him. First real test, though. Yeah, the moat's gonna work good, I think. Waste not, want not, though. <laughs> Just get right inside of him. Okay, baby Moa here. I can't guarantee your survival. I oh, there's a jaguar over there, too. Oh, and a wolf over there. Great. Okay, so this might be kind of a hostile area. It's okay. Let's get to work. Yeah, I, I can't guarantee your safety. I can't even guarantee that you'll survive long enough to be tamed, but I'll do my best. Oxygen low again. Hold up. Oxygen. Oxygen slot. And <coughs> let's get to work here.
with that, we have our starter home. I don't have a place to sleep, though, and it's going to be a long night. I just need, I think, uh, it's about five more fur. Maybe we can do some hunting here and get the remaining fur that we need. There is that jaguar. The jaguar does have fur. He also has claws, but he has no more life, so that is actually great. Yeah, here we go. Whoop. Hello, Moa. Just be very quiet around her. Mama Moa is not very friendly. Okay, we've got all kinds of creatures here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. One down. Go! There's another Jaguar! <laughs> to the boat! Ugh. I think I want to buy this game. This game looks fun. Is it is is Icarus EAC? Thirty-five dollars. But it's never been cheaper than that, I don't think. It's funny. No, no, I don't want support. No, I don't. I don't want that. I don't want that. Don't take me back to that. No, go back. Yeah, go to the store. No. <laughs> no. No, I don't. No, no. I don't want to do this. I want to go to the store. Featured. Thank you. Steam turn paste RPG fest. Yeah, we should look at the whole list of everything. I'm here to look at the price of Icarus, and it's been on my wish list, I think. Or no, I haven't wish, li wish listed this. New Icarus New Frontiers has an expansion. Oh, yeah, it's got a good rating, huh? Survival platform. Yeah, buy Icarus Pets to complete the set. For a hundred and fifty dollars with fifteen percent off. Seventy two dollars. God damn it. Twelve dollars. That's it, huh? Well, Icarus itself. Let's see what the reviews say. From toxic atmosphere to savage wildlife, apex predators to destructive storms and forest fires, Icarus is a planet with a temper. Preparation, pl preparation, planning, or everything. Whether it's to find a source of oxygen, stock your next meal, or stockpile supplies for long term needs in the wilderness, Google the eight Steam friends to join your game and play on dedicated servers. You can play on a dedicated server. Oh yeah, Return to Mor Moria. I forgot about that game. Yeah. Overall, it's a good game compared with other open world survival games. This game is more hardcore. Both the transportation system on the map and the collection materials are more difficult than other games in the early stages of the game. Likewise, you can get a great sense of accomplishment from slowly upgrading. I will always remember the joy we felt when we lit the first light and got rid of the torch. As long as you have the patience to explore such a huge map and collect what you need, this is a great game for you.
Oh, horrific optimization, huh? Crashes are common. And this was posted in September. And there's no pause. Yeah. Yeah, there's no pause. So, yeah, the hunger and the food and the water keep going. Maybe Icarus is my game. My sort of game. Uh, likely is built. Warp drive active.
<laughs> what? Stupid ass chat. Can I shoot in the water? Whoa, he's right there. Got him. Oh my god. The okay. damage numbers I'm are pretty cool. Much done with this. Where did that guy go? I need the fur. I need the fur for a bedroll, and I'm going to bed, man. All right, it's a fresh new day, but purple the storm acid is rain. I do have a wooden mallet, so we can conduct some repairs if needed to the shelter, so at least it doesn't completely fall apart. But uh, while we have the storm here, let's look into what we can do to potentially get this guy tamed up and turned into a mount to cut down on travel time. Jeez, there are so many things. You're gonna ride a MOA? Craft here. Oh, Why? Can you go to tier two already? Can you ride bench. a MOA? Okay, that's a great start. Set that down right there and that allows me to craft basically nothing so far. Somewhere in here is going to be a saddle. Let's use the search function down here. Saddle. Way over here. Basic riding saddle that requires... I think the ranching station, riding saddle. Yeah, we'll need a bed for the animal and a whole bunch more fur, apparently. <gasps> Chicken coop? No way. Oh, we're gonna turn this whole island into a little ranch. Snare trap, hitching post, and rope. All kinds of good stuff here. Ah, uh, the food and water trough. These are gonna require nails. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's backtrack a little bit. We need some kind of a forge, I think. Oh, the contact device. Yes, we need the contact device so we can contact the UDA and get some missions. Once we get set up here, we're going to want to do quests and missions and stuff so we can make more money. That's why we're here. <laughs> that's the forge that's making that sound. As a prospector on Icarus. The stone furnace looks like it can smelt iron, copper, and steel. We're going to need a water skin, oxide dissolver, oxygen bladder. Oh, anvil bench. Yeah, that sounds like a nail thing. Sure, I'll take that. That unlocked all the iron tools, too. And steel. And obsidian way down here. We can find obsidian here somewhere. And that should allow us to get some pretty decent tools. Okay, we, we have some catching up to do. The storm has mostly lifted i think it's safe to go outside what do we need though fiber bone just the basics basically we gotta go out and get a little bit of everything i'll try to come home with some iron ore stone and then i'll just do hunting for the rest along the way all right it is it i don't know it looks day. optimized to me Let's just have a couple of tomatoes for breakfast and i did cook up some meat on the fire which reminds me i gotta take that off the fire before it starts burning give me these cooked meats here and I gotta remember how this works here. What do I do? I can consume the cooked stringy meat. Oh, here we go. Two out of three food buffs are active. I'm still, I have a little bit of dysentery from my morning drink there. I have a berry and seed bar cooked meat. Let's take the cooked meat for food number three. This is giving me benefits such as increased maximum health, stamina, regeneration, and experience gain. Hmm. Good to know. Oh, and then my, something just wore off. Oh, from eating the tomatoes. So let's just have this berry and seed bar for um, less stamina consumption with tool actions. <laughs> okay, sure. All right, let's get out here and do some hunting. I got the new, actually, doink, get rid of that last stone arrow, and we're on to the bone arrows now. It'll do slightly more damage. Here we go. We actually, this is the perfect hunting ground, isn't it? Mama Moa is down. Baby Moa is down. Now we can just safely swim over, I think, and get these guys harvested up. <coughs> that has attracted a wolf. Ow! Into the lake of safety. Oh, there's a jaguar. And other... Uh, also, more jaguars. Dead. Oh, these bone arrows are, like, one-shotting these creatures. 
but they're not allowed to eat my stuff guys get out of here yeah we gotta get all these carcasses out of here they're just gonna draw in more predators if i leave them to rot and i don't see anything else i thought i missed one i guess not okay onwards to i don't know where we're going we're just exploring now we ought to find some caves caves are going to be a good source for things like iron so let's kind of just trace the border of this cliff and see if we can find our first corn nice corn is definitely edible carrots oh what's that that is uh oh, deep ore mining deposit for platinum oh geez keep that in mind that will come in handy someday far into the future but the time will come for sure oh hello blueback i'm not gonna bother the bluebacks i like these guys no, I, he's having a hard enough time with life right now by himself i smell bacon hold up the other bacon meat that i had went bad i didn't cook it in time this looks like a cave entrance to me let's try to see if oh yeah, it is hang on get my torch out so we can see something yes we can chop through this wall here and there will be a cave in behind with unknown treasures within Okay, there we go. It can Moa. Yeah, just stay there for a second, please. He'll probably die, but that's okay. Uh, whoop. Right. Worms. Die. How many more of you are in here? Oh, the lighting is less than ideal. We'll manage, though. These little cave worms, they don't stand too much of a chance. I can see lots of iron. These are all little iron nodes. I think I saw a gold node on the way in here. Oh boy, this is... It's not easy to see what's going on, though. I don't know that I need to go all the way to the back, do I? Yeah, maybe just clear this out a little bit. But I think we'll get what we need right about here. Iron ore. Oh no! Crap, I got it. I got the cave pneumonia or whatever it is. What is this? Cave sickness. Less health, less stamina, less XP. Dang, I was hoping I could get in and out of here before that kicked in, but nope. And that's going to last for at least nine minutes. Well, I'll do the best I can here. We're almost encumbered anyway. We'll load up on iron and head back to the base. Now that we know where this cave is, we can come back here anytime and finish it off. Okay, let's kick things off with the stone furnace. Just toss that down right there. And I have this oxide dissolver as well, which will help me go longer between um, refilling up on oxide. I think this just is going to be, yeah, oxygen bladder in there. And then I'll have to go snag up some oxide somewhere. Here's some right here. Oh, also requires sulfur, doesn't it? It does. Yes, that's the fuel source for it. Okay, let's just... I think I saw some This game seems more in line in my interest yeah, than, right than No Man's Sky. Blue. We've got uh, silica over here, and this is sulfur. Sulfur into this, and that will start putting the oxide into the bladder, and then I'll put the bladder into my suit, and then I'll be good on oxide from now on. As for the furnace here, what is the deal? This is going to require some kind of a fuel source. Just drop some wood in there for now. Preferably, probably coal would be more efficient or this packed fuel brick whatever that is for now though i do also need to cook my bacon i did i am going to have some bacon here very shortly come hell or high water can i just um no no fuel wood needed and after that you can start working on the stringy meat and after that the raw meat activate the furnace and start tossing in the iron and that'll start making the iron ingots which we can then well, we'll need those Gotta to go to bed a little bit earlier and today. To make the nails, I think, and then the nails to make. Pretty Got a visitor nails, coming tomorrow. Yeah, there's the whole water situation. What do I do with the water bladder? I forgot. Is that is that the rain collector? The, yeah, this is just to hold the drink. So we'll top off for now, but eventually we need a clean water source. We've got the rain reservoir, which would be a good holdover for a while until I can figure something else out. Um, I can fill, oh, filtered water with ice. Oh, I see, I see. Is there a way for me to perhaps just go into the snow biome over here and um, scoop up some ice? It's right over here. Uh, it, it's worth a try here. You stay here. Let's go get some ice and see if that's gonna be a viable source of just filtered clean water. Yeah, it's right here. Here's the gateway into the glacial zone. 
I think it's called anyway, and I should be able to just pick some ice up off the ground just like this. Just kind of walk around and snag it. Careful though, because this place is filled with predators, and it's also just cold, so, and I don't have nothing but my regular suit here, so uh, we'll have to come back once we can sustain the cold a little bit better. Okay, that'll have to do for now. Let's get back, and um, I'm running out of oxygen. Yeah, we'll be back here someday to further explore, but for now, it's all about survival. Oxygen bladder into the oxygen slot. That'll, yep, diffuses right into my suit, into my body. Nice. There's my cooked bacon. Aw, oh, cooked bacon is the best, isn't it? What, what's the bonus here? It is health, 150 food, experience gain, max health, max stamina. Awesome. But I'm more interested in, can I put the bladder in here and the ice? And is that going to start doing something? I gotta wait for the meat to cook. I'll check back on that in a little bit then. Okay, we've got enough for the anvil bench. Hopefully that gets us what we need. We'll find out here in like five seconds. Survey says nails, but that's gonna require more iron ingots. I think I have a couple of extra here, 10 extra. Okay, let's just get like 20 of those maybe for now and see how far that gets me. Okay, the campfire is in fact cooking my ice into my water skin. It's taking a while. But that'll be fresh water for us pretty soon. Okay, next up was the ranching station, so we can work on taming that fella right there. Leave him here for a bit. I need more leather to get that, so we're on the hunt again. We got an enzyme geyser right here, too. So an enzyme... Enzymes are what they were using to terraform the planet, but it had some very unpredictable results, and hence we have a very wild and untamed climate here. But they're also incredibly valuable so someday we're gonna return here and see if we can extract some of those okay, i think that was all the leather i needed let's head back and find out all right here's the ranching station it says it must be placed outside i have my doubts but there it is it, it doesn't require shelter i hope it doesn't just blow away in a rainstorm that is definitely a possibility and now we can do the food trough and the water trough and then i think we can tame the moa that's i'm not stopping until i tame that thing so grab a couple of iron ingots and work on a couple of extra nails here. Food trough. Okay, we'll put the food right here, right out front. And then I should be able to fill this up with, yeah, like berries or tomatoes, for example. Where's our little guy? Come over here, man. Man? Woman? I don't, I don't know what we got yet. He hasn't decided, I suppose. Let's go over here, buddy. And after some extra resource harvesting, the water trough goes in there. Now, how do I fill that up with water? Use a water container to fill. Or let nature do its thing when it rains. Okay, so we have some options there. Um, check the fire. Water skin is good. Uh, as much as I'd like to use that, I think I need to focus on the MOA first. How do I... How do I do it, though? Oh, there we go. Press F to fill the trough. There we go. Oh, was that the whole thing? Oh my god, man. Oh, jeez. Hopefully I have some more ice over here. I do have a little bit. But this might take a little while. Here, put this back in the fireplace. Start making some more water. And we need to make the bed now. The bed is made with extra plant fiber, I believe. Grab that. And then... Animal bed. Craft. I don't think the animal needs shelter guess we'll find out here just put this bed anywhere man i don't care where you sleep sleep right out front and are you happy now he's not happy but he is sleepy <laughs> taming progress we're making some progress 11 percent. i think he likes his new bed yep all right good night buddy i'll see you first thing in the morning okay how we doing now 12%. Okay, so it's going to be a process. He's not quite happy yet. I think it's going to take some time for him to forget the massive amount of neglect that he endured in the first couple of hours of being with me. And what are those guys good for, anyway? Bone and arrows. Okay, so not much. And not even, not even a carcass there, I guess. 14%. He's happy now. Lovely. What do we have over here? Oh, it's a bison and a baby bison and a jaguar that appears to be stalking them Let's see if i can get my drone camera over here to just investigate a little bit closer no this jaguar is um a little bit dense there he goes 
I guess he's already fed. Well, I don't intend on becoming his next meal, so... There we go. And those bison over there should definitely have what we're looking for in terms of leather. Did I say bison? I meant buffalo, I suppose. Oh, no. Oh, I feel bad now. I don't have a quality, a high enough quality knife to actually do the butchering on this guy. Couldn't I make a bone knife, though? I can make bone throwing knives. What about this bone knife here? Just a little bit more bone. Where's the jaguar? Take care of you, and then craft myself a bone knife. Maybe that's going to be high enough quality to do the bison, the buffalo. Is there is there a su substantial difference? I'm not sure. Not, still not enough. Okay, we need, we need like an iron tool. Oh, crap. What a waste. I feel super awful about that. Well, there's the basic riding saddle. That's what I was after there. So we're ready to ride the moa when the time comes, which is hopefully going to be soon. Where'd you go, buddy? Hello? There he is. He's at uh, 49%. Wow, we're making good progress. All right, while I'm waiting around for taming, basically, uh, let's go through the recipes again. You know, I knew how to craft all of these things at one point in my life, but I spent a lot of time up on the space station partying and spending all of my money that I earned on Olympus, and I've forgotten a lot. So, you know, we got to go back and kind of relearn some of the basics here. How about a mortar and pestle? God, honeycomb products. There was a beehive over here somewhere. That would be pretty cool to look into. What does this do for me? Copper nails. Okay, we're we're not there yet. A beehive that can be used to start your beekeeping journey. I want to do that very soon. But yeah, okay, we need to. These are must-haves here. Steel bloom, carbon paste, <coughs> powder, epoxy, crushed bone, skinning bench, trophy bench, cooking station, salting station, ice box. These are all just, you know, we're gonna need it eventually. Might as well get it now. The orbital exchange interface will need that. All right, I'm gonna go back into the talents here for a second. I'm gonna go over to the solo points because I'm all alone here on Prometheus and start spending some of these points. We have 10 of them and these are pretty powerful too. Increased melee damage, increased base health. Of course, just take that, all of that. Health regeneration, yes, that too. Movement speed, another 10% faster there. Increased base stamina, I'll take that. And stamina regen. And that's it, I guess. Right, okay, we do need that contact device, too. That's iron ingots. Okay, so once we get the MOA tamed, we can head back to the mines to get some iron. Where'd you go, buddy? Where you at? 58%. Oh, he's out of food. That's why he's not taming anymore. I have a watermelon for you, and didn't I have, yeah, some carrots and some corn? I have some berries. What do you want, buddy? I'll make you a nice little salad here. Yeah, go get some food and start taming again, please. Well, while we're waiting on this guy, I'm gonna go do some resource collection. We're gonna need some oxide, probably some more sulfur. What else? I mean, just a little bit of everything. Let's just kind of scout around here and see what's in the local area. In fact, I haven't even been down to the southwest. Let's go in this direction here and just see what see what's out there. A jaguar is out there. Where do you think you're going, buddy? You trying to look for a snack on my little island? I don't think so. Oh, he's looking for a drink, actually. We can't have I, I think these guys are just nub. I, I think you're supposed to build, like, a wall. And there's nothing really stopping you from doing that. Yeah. Is it EAC? Does Icarus use EAC? No, I don't know. I can't tell. They're not saying.
Yeah, what happened to Darkfall? This is my water. Yeah, I didn't even think of that until just now. All of our food and the, the animals we need to hunt will come to us because we have control of the local water source. And grab some extra sulfur here. And a little bit of extra oxide while I'm at it. Uh-oh. Weather incoming. Okay, we'll have to make this pretty snappy then and head back until we determine how bad the storm's gonna be. I'm gonna take some salt home with me. We did get the salting station. I'll have to look into crafting that. That'll help us preserve our meats a little bit longer without spoilage. Okay, and then... Is this like a gold deep ore mining site? It is a sulfur deep ore mining site. Okay, so we've got platinum and That's sulfur right. nearby. Yeah, I'm starting to get some storm exposure now. Taming progress is at 90%. By the time the storm passes, we should be good. Let's just get in here. Get the torch out and just pay attention to the roof and stuff. Make sure we're not getting struck by lightning. We're not going to, you know, get swept away in a tornado or something. Yeah, here we go. We're taking some damage to the building here. Nothing too severe. We're at the height of the storm right now. What's the status out here? Ooh, miserable. The MOA, they're pretty well adapted to this kind of weather, though, somehow. All right, let's close that door. I am not adapted to this weather. And neither is this wooden shelter. The ranching station appears to be holding up pretty well, though. Despite the wind and rain, it, it, it's durable enough. Nothing else. Well, this is pretty good out here, too. But I don't, this stuff... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We lost the crafting bench because I left the door open. Shoot. And this time I'll you lost the crafting keep it bench? away from the wall a little bit. Maybe that was the issue. Maybe it was, it was you know, poking out the back there a little. I'm not sure here. Just set it there and, and probably here in the next day or two we'll have to do a big base expansion project i'd like to get a better axe because uh wood production right now is a little bit tedious there's the salting station let's get that set up and i'll salt my meat and then uh, we'll check on the tame and we'll head out yeah yeah we need to do we need to do base expansion here asap because it's getting tight just set it there for now i can pick all this stuff up and move it once i'm ready uh we want Salted pork, please. Put the salt in there. Salt the food. It gets a little glowy yellow outline. Here, we'll salt that stringy meat as well. And can I salt a berry bar? Salted berry bars. That works for me. How about some uh, some salted cooked meat there? And I can't... Uh, I don't think I can salt these, can I? Yeah. Oh, no, not enough salt. I need to cook the meat first anyway, I think. And the rainstorm has passed. I think we are good to roll out of here. Do I have the saddle on me still? I do. Basic riding saddle right there. Okay. What do we got here? Yes. It's Rongo. Tamed by nobody. I'm nobody, I guess. And the name for you will be Thale Ravenfell. All hail Thale Ravenfell. Okay. Ooh. I can pet you. <gasps> I'm such a good master, aren't I? Here. Um, examine. And... Here we go. Saddle. Right. Wait. Do you have, like, an inventory, or... Yeah, he, he can hold two different things. Stats. Oh, yes, because I think... I think Thale Ravenfell can level up. He can. He's level zero. Good. Okay, how do we get XP, though? He has... Food buffs. Is that my... Oh, he's happy. Oh, look at that. Was recently petted. Increased experience gain and coziness. Nice. Skills. Oh, he has a skill tree. What do we get here? Stamina. He has a skill food tree. Usage. Weight capacity. Oh, pack moa. Increased inventory slots. Hmm. Wow. Okay, better jumping. Oh, increased movement speed. Yep, that's what we, we we're going in that direction. Is this like a chain or? I'm not sure how exactly it works yet. I guess we'll find out once we start leveling up here. Oh, and we've got commands. Follow, wander, stay, lie down. We want him to be passive in combat, do, or do we? Kind of want him to fight. He's not a fighter. He won't let me fight here. Uh, consume, consume anything. That's fine. And wow. This is super cool, man. Well, this is about the fastest mount that I've ever found here on Icarus. And uh, this should cut down on the travel time drastically. How about... Swimming. Not too bad. We can turn the torch off, I guess. We're going back to the mine. We gotta get some more iron so we can get the contact device. And that's just about it, I think, for the first couple of days here. Ah, crap. Being chased by a Terranus already. Are you kidding? Whoa! <laughs> no! Sorry, buddy. Tell you what. We need to... We need to build some bridges. 
these little rivers here are a nuisance. Okay, here is the mine site. Now, what I want to do here is just say, stay. You stay here. Um, make loud noises if you get attacked, and I'll come out and rescue you. Otherwise, I'm going to be mining in here for a little while and killing these stupid worms. Oh, just came out here for some fresh air, and I found... Excuse me. Get your bow out. And, uh, yeah, I found that guy. What are those things called again? Uh, I don't know. But I know that they're dangerous. Oh, a drac. Yeah, these guys... These guys are like wolves with no fur, basically. Go! Oh, jeez, there's like two more of them. Oh, these must be like pack animals then. Well, I'm gonna take care of them. Just in case. And number three. Got him. Oh, some copper. That's probably gonna be useful for the copper nails that we're gonna need. Okay, quick break then. Let's head back. Oh, I'm kind of turned around. Which way am I going? This way? Yeah, head back out for a little bit of fresh air here. I'm gonna just... Just, you know, pop out once in a while. Check on Ravenfell here. Do we know yet? Are you are you boy or girl? Where, where do I see that? Stats, skill... Oh, he's, um... Thales leveled up. We have two skill points to spend. Nice. Max health. Weight capacity. Food use... Uh, food is fine. We can just pick corn for you, basically. Max stamina. Okay, let's start with... Oh, here we... Oh, I, there, there are lines. I see now. Spring full step, reduced jumping cost damage. Yeah, we want to get to movement speed. So we're going to go right in that direction, I think, as fast as possible. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm feeling refreshed. Let's get back inside here. What is that? <gasps> that is exotic! That is what we're here for. No oh, poison! It's kind of what we're here for. We're here for exotics because they are incredibly valuable. We can sell it for, for millions. Or maybe hundreds of red back on the station and um and purchase gear with it however oh i'm just gonna get it now it's heavy it's um i just yeah i just want it i just want it now got it all every drop of it okay do i know how much of that i have no i'll have to go back to the space station i think to see where we're at in terms of funding because i can I, I used exotics and ren and everything else all my currency to buy things like this Jijing bow and my mass dampener module and my enviro suit my backpack and there are many more things that i want to buy okay let's just get some iron then and we'll head back to the base and we'll kind of get the contact device we'll we'll see what to do from there we got to get the contact device and then there's another station that i unlocked that, um, that will allow me to send the exotics back up to space, to the orbiting, uh, the colony shuttles. I guess they sent a bunch of colony ships here to colonize the planet after they, that they started terraforming and such, but then the terraforming thing turned into a disaster. And then um, they converted all of those colony ships into, you know, orbital space stations where us prospectors live and such just looking for one simple stone to repair this stupid pickaxe it's kind of getting late too it's going to be dark soon repair and let's get back to work here uh oh no 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 a drac has snuck up on our moa run crap oh, i can't get out of here i'm encumbered come on come on come on come on come on just we're gonna get on and run there we go. How's your health there, buddy? It is very low. Oh my god. Thale Ravenfell. Look at the health there. Whoa. Just in the nick of time, we get out of there. Hopefully we don't encounter anything on the way back. And also, hopefully we're not being chased. We're being chased. I saw the red eyes. Run, run, run. Alright, nice and slow here. We're back at the base. We're in the moat. Hopefully there are no piranhas in the moat. It's a distinct possibility. In fact, I don't want to be in here anymore. Let's go. Up, up, up. There you go, buddy. Okay. You rest up. Yep, get a snack. Get some water. And hopefully you'll be all healed up here in a little while. You still good on water? Oh, it must have rained because we are 100% full on water. That is convenient. The food situation is all spoiled. All right, have some fresh berries in there then. And I'll get you some new food in the morning. I think we made out pretty well. Let's uh, just check on this. Iron, 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 iron. That's four, four stacks there. I think Thale had two stacks of iron 
in his or her inventory haven't determined gender yet. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Yes, just uh, smelt this into iron ingots and um, I'll get the contact device done up first thing tomorrow after I uh, start the campfire here because apparently you have to have a fire to sleep. Put some sticks in there. There you go. Good night. Okay, good morning. There is our contact device. Now, if I look at this, we have... Wait a minute. Contact upgrades. Infrasonic relay upgrade, encrypted satellite upgrade. That is going to take ages to get that stuff, but we should have some easy... Wait, simple quests. Crafting tools. Oh, no, I don't want those ones. I want the operation tree, I think. Wait, this looks smaller than I was expecting. Maybe there's just not very many missions available here currently. That's okay. What's our first mission then? Expedition. Build yourself a small base of operations. Yeah, we've kind of done that. Unlock, build, and place a contact device crafting bench. I wouldn't be here if I hadn't, I don't think. This is the contact device. So, begin operation? Is that just going to, like, complete automatically? Not Sorry, I had the I had I the microphone on mute. Of experimental garbage for you. The UDA is testing out some groundbreaking new tech, some kind of AI. I think they can replace me with some eight-bit bag of bolts with that. It's hardly painting anything anyway. Simple, yeah. Simply not needed. It's not like I'm some damn luddite, but hell, I'm more valuable than a talking toaster. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Um, it'll be in an OES pod nearby. Go grab the thing. Oh. Where is this? I can hear supplies coming in. I do. I didn't see it. It's just over there. So, uh, in fact, I think I can see it behind the Terranus there. All right, I'll go check on that in just a second here. I got to get my oxygen bladder. Yep, go ahead and toss that in. We're going to need some more oxide. Uh, yeah, we're in the grind now. Uh, how you doing here? Oh, man. Ravenfell's gonna need a couple of days to recuperate, I think. There's the pod. Nope. And there's a... What the hell is that? This damn... Oh. Looks like land wasn't the only thing adapted around here. UDA hasn't been very forthcoming with information, but I've heard rumors. Some of them are locals. Some seem to be altered versions of Earth wildlife. All of them weird, and probably dangerous. I wouldn't venture too far out unless you're equipped to defend yourself. Okay, here we go. Sinatai Supply Pod. A hastily built drop pod for supplying prospectors with equipment we got. The prototype UDA communication upgrade. A USB drive with the plans for an upgraded communication device. A quest item. Okay. All right. Thank you. you got Stand back. Stupid thing. This is the third version they've worked on, and it seems only good for basic errands. So, you'll still have me around for a while. Let's see just how awful it really is. All right, I think that is our beginning. We've got the AI upgrade for our contact device, or some such. Got a wolf getting a little drink of water here. Not allowed. Hello, Prospector. Not just. Simplified Mission Prospector Liaison Version 3. Connection there, there. Refer to me as Simple. Bloody stupid robot. My function is to guide you through basic assignments for the UDAA. Communication is one way. Not much for then. Your first mission is to cultivate and harvest one tomato. <laughs> Seriously? This frequency is reserved for exclusive automated Prospector Guide users. Terminating redundant connections. Hold on! What did you call me, you stupid <laughs> Sample quality and composition will be used to calibrate APG for future assignments. You will be provided the applicable hybrid seed from an OES in your vicinity. Samples consisting of incorrect genetic material will be rejected. Please begin. I see, I see. Okay, so we just got to start things off pretty easy, pretty small. We are going to collect a tomato and farming plot from the Cinetite delivery pod, which is right over there. And we're going to grow a tomato. We're going to put the tomato back in. 
yeah, it's just a proof of concept here. We're just proving that the AI system is working and that all systems are a go before we get into some more complex and uh, fruitful missions in the future. Fail, Ravenfell. Take a break, buddy. I'm going to take a break as well, and we will pick things up a little bit later on today. We'll do some missions, and we will build out a much bigger base and also just get some better tools. I think we'll have to settle on some iron tools for a while. I think the obsidian it must grow or not grow but it must you know there must be deposits of it probably in the volcanic zone which if i recall correctly is kind of out in this northeastern corner and i'm not sure that we're ready to go out there just yet but we will be very soon anyway thank you for watching my back out here on prometheus and i will see you again hopefully for our next mission Hello my friends, how's it going? A huge shout out first of all to these people listed over here who continue to humble me with their support on the channel. Thank you so much everyone. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope I've done enough to earn your subscription. As always, we are back in Icarus. We're going to be doing Icarus two times per week, probably Tuesday and Thursday. I'm going to be live streaming probably once or twice a week and Seven Days to Die will be returning very soon. A full edited series in after... <coughs> Captain's Log, Day 4. Base camp is secure and prospecting in the local area is well underway. The simple contact device has been built and I've established contact with the station. And they've tasked me with retrieving a nearby supply pod which contains some farming supplies. So this morning the task will be to get the garden set down and see what else we can cook up. Here we go, one wood crop plot. Now, if I put this outside I think the rain will keep it well watered we don't need any irrigation for it just yet it resists tier two storms okay quality i think i'm sold on this game and i think i'm gonna spend the money to buy it as it's got an open world thing and that's what i'm looking for that i can just live in forever and i'm looking for some game like that and it looks a lot better but i also don't know how the performance is maybe i should torrent the game and just look at how the performance is with the other games open I don't know. I liked what I saw there. It had a lot of depth. Shim wouldn't tell us.
Oh my god, I'm gonna go so hard on New World Fresh Start. I was so happy when they said they were gonna do that. I don't really know. It's actually a really good fucking flail. My weapons aren't leveled enough to fight him. <laughs> it's annoying. I think I played it well. He came at me kind of surprised. Son of a bitch. Yeah, my shit is like level 3 and I'm out at like level 65 where if you don't have 10 levels in your weapon, you're probably going to die. Game's not like that. You can't just go out to the desert with a level 1 weapon or everybody would, you know? <laughs> you know so if you uh, literally my eye staff is like level two so like like yeah doing any damage to him don't expect it but i do it all the time i level i level one to 20 on on shit this level 60 all the time it just sucks i die a lot at first but i think it adds tr you know the game never really gets that easy it's never that easy of a game it kind of definitely stomps you in repeatedly it's 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 that kind of game even when you're, like, with 3,000 people, the game will fucking stomp you in or whatever. Not 300. Call 300 people, 400 people. 400 people, you'll still just get one shot. It's It sometimes is like that. The game the game is very unforgiving. Not sure what this is. Here, let's put the plant in there. Don't start, Prospector. Here, have some praise. I'm going to watch his series and see where it goes. I knew you could do it. Speaking of praise, let's just give him a big pat and on the spoil back. spoil it. The arrow in my hand. Okay, let's check the mission status over here. Yep, we've done the tomato thing. We have to wait for the tomato to grow. Well, that's easy enough. That's just going to take some time. So in the meantime, we need to probably harvest up some resources because this just ain't going to do it for much longer. We need some more real estate here. So, and I guess we'll just, uh, we shouldn't build out of wood because the bigger we build out of wood, the more repair we'll have to do after the storms. It's a bit of a liability. I go into the tech tree though here, tier two tech, go all the way to the end. I should find probably some kind of a stone material. I like what I see and I want to support this developer and I'm going to buy their game right now. I'm, I mean, I, I, I've been sold. I didn't, I've been sold for a while. I just haven't, I didn't know when I wanted this game and now I want it. I want it now. 
It has a lot of content, which is kind of cool. Icarus coming soon. Oh no no. no. This came out in 2021. It's got a good ratings and stuff. Yeah, I mean, this is my type of game. Maybe this is the game I'm looking for. Let's see. Add to card. We got to see how, how well it plays with others. I'll return it immediately. No, I want to I wanna go. I want to check out. I'm going to go do this over here. Okay, back to it. Uh, Interior wood. We've got the reinforced wood, which I do believe is resistant to storms. And we have stone. Also have scoria, which is some kind of special masonry material that's exclusive to the Prometheus region. So probably we should just go for that. Let's go masonry, scoria building base, scoria advanced building base set. And we'll try to use that as a foundation for our base here. Now, where do I get scoria? I don't know. So what I'm going to do is just kind of dump off my stuff here and then we'll head out for some exploration. Attention prospector. Okay, I bought Icarus. One of your fellow contractors has been severely injured and returned to orbit for treatment. They have requested help in locating and escorting their pet blue back that was abandoned during extraction. You are advised that 43 gigs, I'm going to put it on my C drive. Back to the contractor's encampment. You may make use of any of the supplies left behind. Additionally, the con contractor wanted the following message passed to you. Please, please save Daisy. She saved me more times than I can count. It's the least I can do for her. The contractor currently lacks a functional trachea. I did my best to substitute. You may begin. We gotta go rescue Daisy. Okay, we got a surprise mission. Orders changed. Okay, uh, where do we need to go for that? Gotta buy oh, way over there. That's <laughs> Daisy. All right. I have to I have to farm up like fifty thousand. No, I it, it's like a hundred and ten thousand gold or something like that. I have to refill all of my foods. Like if I want this character to be perma ready for whenever I get back on her again, I have to fill her food coffers because they're all depleted. Like staff food is not cheap. Attribute food is not cheap. Food farming. I'm oh, sorry. Farming food is not cheap. And I have to buy farming food. Oh, you know, I was going to buy a mount. I totally spaced that that was what I was going to spend my money on. Yeah, let's go look and see if I have uh, season credit at all. Ooh, you're, you're like halting because I'm installing a game. But that's all right. It'll be fast. So activity card, please. Yep. Um... I got these, but mm. gather tier five, gather tier five resource nodes, complete town projects, loot elites, kill beasts, two more beasts, and I'll get a credit for swords, which will make that, and then catch 150 pounds of fish, which seems sort of insane. Oh no, I guess that's not that much. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing some fishing. I know, you know, uh, but I don't know. I'd rather do it on my main character. Earn a victory in PvP arena. Earn A's assault by killing players. Uh, yeah. Wait, so did did I back and and let's go to the activity card. I guess I do get one. Mm, no, I don't get one. Back, but uh, look at the journey. Oh yeah, I got those cool Kree boots. They're light. I wish I could wear them. But I can't wear two at a time, right? Oh, I can't. Wait, no, I can't. Can I? Can I? Oh, I can on this set, yeah. I mean, but, but I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, why not? Oh. Um, I bought Icarus. Yay. Now I kind of don't want any more spoilers, but I'll watch the series. It's all right. Right. It's fine. We've been in that area before. That's okay. The mining area is kind of over here. It's actually kind of far away. Let's um, let's kind of just go south here along the open plains. Hook it left around the lake there, and we'll meet up with Daisy. Ah, right there. I see her, Daisy. Hello, oh, we got a Terranus nearby too. Okay, just take it easy here for just a second. Uh, 
Yep, we can leave him to it. I did pick some corn here because I did notice that Dale Ravenfell is a little bit hungry. Health is doing okay. We're at about 66% uh, on the health. Just go ahead and top you off. And Daisy, were you hungry as well? Daisy's good. I'll, you know, force feed, I guess, a little bit. A couple extra calories won't hurt you, judging by the size of you. Okay, let's give Daisy a quick pet here, if I can. There we go. Yes, got some heart bubbles there. Good stuff. Whoop. Jurak. Aha. Daisy, you need to come with me, please. Yes, we are heading to this little purple hut down here. Right. Whoop. Another Drac. Hold on, hold on. We might have to go on foot for this so that I can play defense a little bit. Oh, no. Fail. Watch out. Okay, down. Kill that Drac. I should probably try to recover my arrows the best I can. I might run out. I have 46 of them. Okay, let's go. Keep it tight, boys and girls. Head on a swivel. We got another Drac over here. Got him. Give me, give me, give me arrows. Good. Let's go. Another one there. There we go. Gotta get those headshots in. There we go. Last second headshot there. Good. Give me that arrow. If I can get it. There we go. Let's go. I have a hundred fire with seventy fire modes. Okay, it has been a tortuous battle getting here, but I think we've made eleven hundred cactus almost clash. Ten. It's about nine thirty at night now. Very dark. Got one more drag here. Hopefully, it's just one more. I have to pull every arrow that I shoot now. I'm under ten to go. Just up ahead here. Whoop! Another drag. No. Got him. And arrow. And there should be a camp here, somewhere. What is this? Uh, something, some wild. Oh, here it is, right here. The camp. Yes. Oh, we've made it. Daisy, Daisy. Good work, Prospector. The injured contractor would be greatly relieved that Daisy made it back home. Had they not died horribly from their wounds before I could inform them of your success, you may gather any supplies left on this property for your own use. Daisy will also need a new home. Please return to your previous objective and place the sample in the OES pod when ready. Wow, we've done it. Oh, and this is the Scoria brick here, I think. That's kind of a weird look to it. All right, we got a new camp out here. As long as you don't tell me what to do, I think I'm good. Can I play where uh, I need? I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna see what modes they offer. If they don't offer, if they don't, if they offer me a mode where they don't tell me what to do, I'm all good. If it's entirely that sort of thing, then I might pass. Drive active. Getting base, and it said I could keep all the supplies in here. Yeah, because the uh, the prospector that was here before has no more trachea. Obsidian pickaxe. Oh, that does fire damage. Well, I guess we'll have to stay here for the night then. You know, we got a little base of operation. We don't have any food. I, I have some food in my inventory. I can give the animals some corn. And speaking of that. Thail at 51% took a little bit of damage. Daisy at 72% also took a little bit of damage. Here you guys. Well, I guess, yeah, <laughs> Daisy, you're on a diet now. Holy cow, man. You gotta work on your speed. You gotta level you up a little bit. But uh, Thail here could use a couple of snacks. And a pet for you. With no arrow in my hand, thankfully. <laughs> and a pet for you. Daisy is level 7. Hold on a second. Does that mean you have Talking levels? We put a saddle on Daisy, so Daisy is a rideable mount. That's good. And skill points. We have seven of them. I'll have to think this over. What do you guys... Do you think Daisy should be a pack animal? Maybe. To help us carry stuff out of mines and such? There's some supplies over here, right? The obsidian pickaxe. Take that. I just want to have a quick peek at what that looks like. Way better than my stone pickaxe there. Here it is. Oh, fancy. All right. Our first little piece of obsidian tech... There's nothing else here, really. Okay, I'm gonna get some firewood. And we'll call it a night here. Okay, fresh new day now. Whoops. Yeah, get rid of this before something smells it and comes running after me. I did harvest up a couple of the drac last night as I was looking for some firewood. Now, is this all mine to have? Oh, it is. I can just take all of this with me, and I think I will. 
select a few items here to bring home. Now, some of these are harvesting, and some of them are are Let's see if I can get are logs. Here in a second. No, nope. jeez, the drac are still here. To varying degrees, I killed like four of them last night. We were like surrounded here. I just need to get myself some oxide. Oh, this makes an interesting sound with the obsidian little pickaxe here. Also, I was pickaxing an animal last night, and it caught on fire. This thing does burning damage. Yeah, I know. Water low. I'm going to the water hole right now. So, drink water, and the oxide that I just picked up can just replace the bladder. I wasn't very prepared for a long expedition, but time was of the essence. You know, I was going to tear some of this down and bring it home with me, but the more I think about it, the more I'd like to have a little bit of an operating base out here so that we can come out here and you know, we'll have some oxide, we'll have a crafting bench, a place to sleep, a fireplace, you know, just in case we get stuck over on this side of the map at nighttime and we can't quite make it back. So in that case, let's proceed. We're gonna have to do some exploration with Daisy in, in tow. Attention prospector, your sample has grown to an acceptable maturity and is ready for processing. Please place it in the OES pod for retrieval. Gotcha, okay, we're heading back to camp then. We're gonna kinda take a long route back because I want to explore some of this side over here. Kind of on the lookout for some scoria, so we can make some of that nice scoria brick that we saw back there. All right, we're back at the base. Check out the fire, man. Other than some hunting on the way back and skinning some animals just to stock up on leather and bones again, I didn't really see much of any interest over there on the way back. If we just check the map here, I did map out this entire western border here pretty much right through to the river up to home here. There's still some uncharted territory here, but not much. Okay, let's check on the garden out here. This was our mission after all. This resists tier two storms. Okay, so looking at the forecast here, it looks like there is a tier two storm scheduled for today, perhaps followed by a tier one storm tomorrow, and the day after that, a tier three storm. Okay, anyway, let's just get this harvested up and... Let's turn on my heater again, it's cold. Here we go. Drop that down for me. That's where I have to put everything. Here. Dale Ravenfell, you take a break here. Oh, lie down? I wonder if that's like stealth mode. Like when we're going in a cave, we... Or maybe you heal faster? I'm not sure ex Oh, Daisy! Daisy, you cannot fit in there. Please come outside. Let's interact with this, and I should just put my homegrown tomatoes in there. Apparently the AI can detect if I were to go pick not wild sure tomatoes. Not sure been brought up before, but we have a new way of doing things now. Sinatai have come up with a fancy new way of shipping your exotic halls off world. They're calling it the Orbital Exchange System, OES. Abandoning all your planet side tech is a thing of the past, if you prefer. Chuck them in the pod, then it drops it all off at the station. Pretty cool, huh? It's free for now, while they're still testing the pods. Who knows how much cash they'll rake in from this later. It works in reverse, too. Say you want to order some shiny new gear from the workshop up there? You can get it delivered just by pressing a few buttons. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Interesting. Okay, so the Cinetai delivery pods... Still getting used to the growling noises that this guy makes. You sound an awful lot like a predator, Daisy. You're very cute, though. What are you, like? You're like a, a turtle buffalo or something. I don't know. Okay, so once we once we get a little bit more organized here, I do want to check and see what's available at the workshop there. Do some shopping, maybe get some better gear. Okay, we brought the extra animal bed home. Let's just set that out here for Daisy. Okay, since I don't know where we are in terms of getting obsidian, I imagine that's just gonna be, it's gonna be in the volcanic region and we're just not there yet. Let's go then and get some uh, iron tools over here. Let's get an iron ax. I guess I'm good on pickaxe, but I can't repair the pickaxe that I have right now. And I think having a melee weapon is probably a good idea. It's I'll either go with um, a knife here or a spear. I'll go with the iron knife. Plenty of leather here. I'm using the mortar and pestle as a storage container because it's way better than the storage containers. And it's just a temporary fix for now, I guess. And we'll get the iron knife and the iron ax. And then we have to do some wood chopping for building materials and also to get the masonry bench so that we can check on the recipe for the scoria brick 1528 what's our mission right now oh i just checked the missions it says mission complete we are actually done we're done with missions okay right 
Let's take a break from missions then and do some wood chopping. A little bit of base expansion. We'll work on the storage situation for sure. That's like number one on the list. I prefer not to do all of my wood harvesting very close to home. Let's just go over here. This is fine. Because I want to preserve the natural look and feel of where we live. I don't want it to be a big clear-cut area. It's starting to get a little bit dark as well. Okay, for the rest of the night then, wood chopping. And just I like know that, the feeling. I'm all filled up. That didn't take any time at all. I actually went into my tech tree here, actually my talents, and I just went straight down the wood harvesting line. This one's my favorite right here. Chopped wood is automatically added to your inventory, and then there's also this one-shot chance to chop up a tree. Very nice. Oh. Okay, so I'd like to start off by building a little bit of a bridge over here, if possible. It's um, kind of a double-edged sword. It'll help me get across and the animals, but it will probably also help predators, so... Yeah, we'll see if it works out. Plus, it's also going to be out of wood. And so, I don't know, I'll get like 20 of these, I guess. And so, it'll probably get damaged in the storm. We got some severe storms coming up in the forecast, actually. So, we'll see how it holds up. Probably not at all. Okay, that's four. And I can hear it creaking. It's, it does not like going out that far here. Just give it just a second. And I'm crafting up some pillars here. So before this loses stability, just dive down in here and see if I can drive in some pylons to help hold it up. That should do for now. Okay, keep going straight across. And that links, whoop. Well, <laughs> had a little bit of an issue with the last one there, but that'll do for a little bit. I'll wait to get fancy with it until we get better materials. More, more about the function for now. As for the rest of it, I'm just gonna bring it out another Let's say three tiles. And we'll have to rearrange the roof and the walls and everything as well. I think I went to Popsicle. I'll be right back. Okay, we officially have shelter. It neither looks good nor functions well, if, if you ask me. These little cracks here that you see, that is a stability issue that I need to address out here. I did pick up some extra pillars, hopefully adding some pillars in like so. We'll confer some stability up into the structure. I think this is all kind of just a temporary build here until we... Um, Get the better materials and then we can kind of design out a true there we go be right back.
long-term base but I just need some extra real estate for all of my stuff here well it's 2230 I'm gonna see if I can get some stuff rearranged here and um, you know I'll do the best I can and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning okay there we go incoming rain I don't think this is no this is a, you can see it right there this is going to be like a level one storm I think the shelter will hold up just fine we have some severe storms incoming though so the project over the next um, day I guess is going to be trying to get better building materials. I did get a rain reservoir. It should catch the water off the rooftop pretty well. In this I will store extra water skins so hopefully we don't have to worry so much about water. And I also crafted up a couple of extra oxygen bladders so we can just store these in here and I can just change one out whenever I need one. And that should be a little bit more efficient. Okay things are looking decent in here everything is stored away and organized there's not much going on short on a few things okay i'm gonna brave the rainstorm then and go harvest some wood got the instant harvest on that how about that that was fast oh jaguar yikes get out of here buddy oh geez we're losing trees in the wind here watch your head and also don't let that wood go to waste because these trees will take ages to regrow and looks like my tomatoes are actually ready for a quick harvest. Grab that. And I'll just put those right in here for the animals along with some of those berries I found. Eat up, boys and girls. Not sure which is which yet. You guys ate all the food already? I just put the food in there. Masonry bench. Just drop that in here anywhere for now. And scoria. Yeah, we need to find scoria to make the scoria wall as well as iron. Okay, so that is going to be a big project. But we need stone we need some kind of a stone structure here so that we can withstand the incoming storms i yeah this is it's kind of scary we've got a level four or five storm coming in soon on the three-day forecast um and this this whole thing will just blow away in that kind of a storm okay that's not good we are on the clock okay so to find scoria I think we're gonna have to go for a little expedition. I think we should go to the volcanic region and just see if we can find something there that is um, that's helpful to us. See what kind of resources are there at least. Let's go. So to get to the volcanic region, pull up the map here. I think we'll have to go either through the snow. I, is there a gateway here to get into the volcanic area or more likely I think we have to go into the swamp here then up into the volcanic area i want to see what's in the swamp anyway so let's do it oh my god thale actually has a ton of levels thank goodness okay give me speed 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 stamina 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 and health maximum health what else we get water consumption food effects weight capacity give me all the health and we'll call it good there okay so we're we're faster we are more efficient on stamina and we are stronger now here we go it's like a gateway into the unknown oh it just got very green over here all of a sudden Let's see if i can get down here without hurting myself or thale ravenfell uh, i think he's got pretty good ankles there we go Oop. <laughs> not as good of ankles as i thought oh geez we're down to like 50 percent just like that okay what are these things here these could be important yeast Okay, we have some flour back home, so... Oh, is this it right here? Uh... Okay, so... <laughs> Gonna play Icarus and see how it plays well with... Let's uh, see if it plays well with others. If it's unreal, it probably will. Nice, 70 mil making that money.
No, no RTX. It's it's got good uh, it's got good pedigree and stuff. sensitivity Music's good. Music should be up. Well, we see that it is not a, um, it is not, I am happy to report that it is not an, uh, EAC game. So I'm very, very fucking happy about that. And that's good. There's a lot of cool stuff here. What the hell? That's a weird way to do a T. Does that look like a T to you? Looks like an R to me. I just want to view this again. Yeah, it looks all good to me. Looks, it looks a lot more professional than I thought. I wonder what the company is. Oh. Well, let's get back into it and see. It seems to be playing well with others, but we'll see. We don't know. Hey, maybe I found a cool uh, solo single player survival game. We'll see. Rocket Works. Never heard of them. Good for them. good 
Music's good. Too loud. Feminine body. I'm going to make a character, I guess. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's it for heads, huh? We don't ever see anything but a fucking thing. Okay. Okay, resume. Resume an open prospect. New. Click here to start. Open. New open world mission or outpost. Load or join existing multiplayer team up for adventures on Icarus. There are three main modes of play within Icarus. Missions, open world, and outposts. Missions are the classic way to play Icarus with a series of objectives and a finite time frame. Open world is a persistent survival experience with no time restrictions, the ability to engage in dynamic SMPL3 missions, and a subset of our classic missions offered on planet as operations. Outposts are persistent worlds on a smaller scale, allowing dynamic... SMPL3 missions. Okay, so I want to do a click here to start a new open world. Okay, and so when I'm done with this, I can buy two more cool, like, new frontiers and stuff. Cool. Sounds good. The, uh, Olympus. The original region open for prospecting. Olympus feels familiar with its lush forests, scorched deserts, and frozen tundras, but time spent exploring will reveal just how different it really is. Establish your claim where the entire story began. Okay. Olympus, open world. UDA, UDA approved un unrestricted access to large areas, special permissions to access the SMPL3 mission interface. The original region open for prospecting olympus feels familiar with the slush forest scorched deserts and frozen frozen tundras but time spent exploring uh, will reveal uh just how different it really is establish your claim where the entire story began create open new world uh open world list i want to create an open new world i want to make it hard creature health up creature movement speed up aggressive creatures perception neutral creatures perceptive creature melee damage Yep, experience gain is up 25% and the open world is true. Yep, so we're going to enter prospect name. Uh, uh, enter prospect name. Skycat live? I don't know. Claim prospect. I don't know what that means. Select an Enviro suit and load equipment onto your dropship for your next mission. Or your next mission, excuse me. Items on drops. No items currently on drop. Confirm your loadout and join the mission. Enviro suit. Oh, they have a, a cool extraction feel to it. That's cool. Confirm the loadout. Select the drop point. I want to be... He was talking about getting to magma. Which I'm not really sure. 
I want water that's close, closest to the center of the map so I can cut through at will. So we're looking at pretty much right at the, the, the bottleneck, which is going to be... Oh, is this me here? Oh, oh, I see where I can go. Okay. So I can go right in the center in snow, and then I can access all of these. But, I mean, yeah, I think that's normally where most people would go. And you can kind of, like, pick which side you think might be cooler. We'll, we will go... You know, a desert with water might be really good, actually. Probably, like, faster. But, no, we'll start in green, I guess. I, mean, I think most people would choose the top left one, I think. Or, or bottom right one. I don't know. The bottom right area is bigger, and it has snow in it. The top left doesn't. This is like kind of a more intermediate start. We'll start here where it's kindest because I put it on hard mode. So we'll do this. Riverlands. Conifer. Comfortable. High. Medium. 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 High. Comfortable. Medium. Okay. Riverlands or Conifer. Conifer is the recommended one. Okay. Steam friends only. Clean this room. Host this session. Yeah, Steam friends only. Yep. It's playing well with others. That's good. Yeah, I was probably kind of mean to it cutting the frames. It probably really didn't like that. Careful. Cool, it's like a uh, rock and stone. Deep rock galactic. What the hell's going on, this piece of shit? Oh god. Cool, Icarus for the first time. It's playing well with others. It's got 100 frames. 116 frames of frame generation. First things first. Ooh. If you want to complete missions for the UDA, you'll need to craft a short range radio. Plenty of folks need help, and factions pay well for prospectors that offer their time. Up to you. Stay safe. Okay, two clean days, then a tier three storm, tier two storm, then a tier three storm. Okay, um, I suppose I should start watching videos, but I don't know. I kind of want to just play the game. Yeah, cool. Pick up, pick up a stone. Pick up a st st stick, stick stone or oxide. I'm liking it so far. <laughs> it's playing well with others. Yeah, hey, it's a good farmer. Reminds me of, um, what's the other game like this? It's, uh, now my inventory. Now, am I paused? Because, yeah, is this paused right now or what? I'll find something moving and I'll find out. Wild berries. Uh, O2, water and food. Okay. Rocks and stones, sticks and stuff. Let's look at the map. I am here. I want to go to water before I do anything. Oh, that's where I landed, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, is there water here? Why is there no sprint? Let's see. Uh, settings. Oh, no. What's this sound? I like the game so far, actually. 
the graphics look a little not as good as they I thought they would. Like they look better on his game than they do on mine. Display. Maybe this game will haul ass. It looks like, like it kind of will. So. Post processing is high. View distance is low. Textures are on high. Let's put the epic. Oh, you have to start restart. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, contact shadows should be on. And the post processing should be on epic because it kind of looks crappy to me otherwise. Honestly, let's just let's just change this to to epic. All of it. Textures, effects, shadings, all of it. Right. Did I die? No, I'm gonna quit the desktop. Go. Got to get this all sorted before it's a problem. Okay, play Icarus. I like this game so far. I like the execution. Yeah, New World doesn't seem to mind it at, at all, so... There's, uh, yeah, there's graphics more in line with what I saw on the video. Yeah. Now, I don't have a sprint button. It does appear that it pauses it, actually. It's cool. Hands. What does hands mean? I don't know what that means. Hot for oh no 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 that can happen no. no, no. I don't know. Hot bar backpack. What does that mean?
Oh, no, no, there we go. That's wrong. Hop bar backpack OBI. Crafting should be C. Map should be tab. Toggle menu. Tech. This game does not pause. Tech is P, I don't know. Maybe N. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The texture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I think I like this game, and I'm going to keep it right away. I'm going to keep this game. I don't care if I play it or not. I'm going to keep this game. Little now. Got to fix that. Um. There. The no ambience sounds weird. I don't want to know. Okay, now it's already a storm, I guess. And it's raining. Okay, so... Um, crafting of a stone axe craft? Yeah, sure. Cool, yeah, and uh, what else? Uh, contains ice water, berry, and seed bar craft, yeah. Okay, so gonna have to learn everything, but I like this so far, yeah. The music seemed to have gone, gone away, but that's all right. Maybe it has to do with, with the combat. Oh, motion blur should be off. Feel the view. I usually actually do ninety, but I, or like one ten. I'm sorry, one ten. Epic overall LOD bias shadows. Epic. All this stuff is fine. Look, it's it's getting gray frames. So I have an axe now. Oh, I like this game. Yeah, it reminds me of um that other game that I bought that I like. I can't think of the name, but. So what what else can I make? Uh, I need stone. Okay. Stone. Storm exposure. Maybe I should go inside the pod for now. Oh no, I was crouched is what it is. Oh, oops, okay. Okay, so crouch is toggle and it slows you down. I gotta watch that. This was, what was it? Oh, yeast, okay. This thing over here. Let's put it in the. Uh... This is salt. Level one talent points in the tech tree. Wood pile, stone pile, stone axe, stone pickaxe, fire whacker. Quickly beats out fires. I want wood spear. 
which takes sticks and fibers. And now I want you to craft me a wood spear. Craft. Oh, I like this game. It's fun. And it's playing well in the background. Okay, so now I want to experiment with return to character select, return to character select. It's it's instant though. If I if I don't if I want to log out, I can log out. It's fast. Listen. Oh. No, the uh, the music's too loud though. I like this game and I'm glad I bought it. I I don't I, I don't I do not believe I'm going to return it. Whatever. It passes all the tests. It plays well in the background. It's a survival game. It's got a chart and it's fun. Uh, what time is it? It is 2 in the morning. I've got to be up around No, I don't think I want to do RTX. It's alright. Let's go look at what the Icarus viewership is. Just out of curiosity. New World's fucking viewer viewership isn't too good, but I don't care. 27 viewership. It's sad, so just cancel. I was curious. Eh, you know, you never know. <laughs> oh, I have to play the drums again. I don't want the ghosts. Keep them away. He looks awesome, though. Increases yield. Maybe I should try that.
I love that song. Glad I bought it. By 7%, damn. What? No, no. Oh no, well, oh yeah, you know, I haven't fed my horse today. Two twenty nine. I took something off the bar and I didn't want to. It was those, I guess. I think. Yeah, if I could get like three flesh as opposed to one. We could do a lot better here, honestly. As it is, I believe I have like 2,000 gold worth of fucking cactus flesh or whatever. This desert is going to pay for everything that I want. And I will farm this motherfucker. Old school RuneScape motherfuckers think they're hard. They're not hard like me. I will farm this motherfucker all day long. Rust players are like, I don't know. Because I can see a goal. I can see what I get from it. So I'm like, oh my god, it's exactly like Rust. I don't mind putting in the time. It's like, to me, almost the PvE version of Rust. Because it's like, never ending. And, it, you know, it's, it's about survival. Okay, so, yep. Go uh, select character. Resume. Look, I am. I'm getting like three, three cactus flesh, and that's that's almost like triple the income. It's kind of insane. Not on every tree, but on the on the harvesting ones. Yeah. Am I in? No. So I like that I can log to the load screen. I think it's a solution to the no pause thing. Because it's instant. I think all they needed to do was take the timer away, and that's fine. It like logs logs you back to where you were. I think. Yeah, it does have a bit of a rust load, but that's not a bad thing. No, I think oh yeah, I broke my I broke my axe. Nice. Now I see this, but I don't see the fucking potions that I used. Oops there. Uh yeah, gathering yields and then I want logging yields. Increases your luck when logging. Uh, yeah, I think so. We'll have to buy more salted poultry. That it, probably all of this farm that I've been doing all night will buy me the hundred salted. They're like like the hundred. I probably like the thirty salted poultry that I need. It's gonna be like fifteen hundred gold. It's gonna be so annoying. That's exactly what I have. I have about I don't know. I have like let's see. I have uh, yeah. I have about fifteen hundred cactus flesh. And I'm gonna go all the way till I cap up at seventeen hundred or whatever. Am I in? Oh, I am. Yeah, look. Oh, look, so now it's sort of doing its thing here on auto, maybe. Let's go look. Are you on auto? Yeah, you're on resolution auto. No, I want quality. There we go. Much better. 
Look, the game performs fucking beautiful in Ultra. Because it's old. It's like five years old now. Or something. Yeah, dope as fuck. So, I'm just going to load this. I'm going to use this thing as storage. I'm going to load it with, like, sticks and stones and all types of shit. Yeah, so, stone. Can, can I just transfer or whatever? Yeah, can I transfer? So, how do I do this instantly? Okay. Good. Dump it all there, first of all, because I don't want to die or drop any of it. Yeah. It will just farm for a bit. No, I can't, I can't do that one, huh? Oh, I can't do that one. I can't? Okay, well. That's all right. This is wheat. Nice, it is wheat. Oh, look, at, look, it's like a farmer's paradise. Just like that other game. What's that game? I can't think of it. I own it. That one was medieval and kind of dumb, but I like the scope of this one a little bit more, I think. I want to get to the water. Can we zoom in? Oh, yeah, we can. Look. Oh, can I leave, like, things? Okay, so what's that That do? What's this do? Well, player, dropship, downed player. Oh, cool. It has, like, different things. Interesting. Okay, but we're going to go live on the island, I guess. And I guess I'll bring this stuff with me now. I don't know. I, I don't know. Do I have enough room? Yeah, I think I do. I probably have enough room. Yeah. We'll go build um, three day forecast. Yeah, I've got to get a. Ooh, oxite. Nice. Uh, is this my. This is a stone axe. That's a stone pickaxe. I guess I should watch a getting started video. game look at it it's fucking beautiful like like pack stay but actually playable it's funny the weight that I can carry 24 out of 100 kilograms so I'm okay oxygen's halfway so if I put oxide there does it fill it yes I believe it can the effects are a little high Because the farming's a little shrill. Yeah. That was all of it, huh? And this is stone. Oh, I like this game. Yeah, like I, I, I'm happy that I bought it. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, good with this game. This game and I fucks with each other. I better take the time to farm this thing. Oh, so now that I'm out, let's just see what return the character select's like. It's like five seconds, right? Yep. That's weird. While this game's on... Oh, you know what I didn't think to look at? Actually, wait. I want to go back in. Go back in. I, I need to make sure that it's translating to OBS correctly. I didn't even think about that. Damn it.
Takes a little bit to get in though, which is annoying. Water's low. <laughs> yep, we're going to live on that island. The animals aren't fucking rushing me all the time. Ooh, the water's beautiful. Look, there's a fish in there. Can you fish? Oh, man, the game is fucking beautiful. I'm wet. Your reduced chance to be set on fire to increase electric and frost damage. Thirsty, you're thirsty, you should find water. Bree flower harvest for medicinal. Oh, I'm out of water. Um. Okay, let's take the debuff from drinking the water and find out what happens, I guess. That filled my meter, just one drink. Okay, we're going to dominate this island. I'm going to tell you right now. So, next... Uh, crafting, right? I made a spear. Ice in a water container. Berry and seed bar. Uh, I am hungry, so we'll eat the berry and seed bar. Consume. I got the century, which will last four minutes, which gives me a 50% nutrition from food, 25% food effects duration. But I got the food in me before that happened, and I'm cooling. Assuming, so one in five, and I caught it, just so that it was showing me, probably. Probably the first time it just automatically does it. So what do we do now? Probably build uh, wood stuff, I guess. The gamma is kind of dark in here. tech tree I guess is next huh uh, how many levels do I have three points available character crafting I guess 
campfire or bedroll. Wants to place some shelter, but I need small wood crate. Yeah, we're going to need that, definitely. That's one point. Basic water purifier. This is going to be a problem. And a... What's it do? Uh, for easy reaping. But I don't think I need that. I think I need a stone knife. And we will craft... Uh, oh, talents, I see. So, lumber yield. Increase wood from felling. The only one, one talent point. Oh, I like this game a lot. So what can we craft now? Can we uh, we can craft this stone throwing knife out of fiber, sticks, and stones. So we'll make a whole fuck ton of them. Now I'm out of stone. Uh, the basic water purifier is everything but stone and charcoal. I don't have charcoal. Basic rainwater purifier, honeycomb bar. And energy bar, but I don't see. Uh, oh, yeah, and a small wood crate which takes wood and fiber. Okay, so what else though? What else? Uh, tech tree and talents and tier two required level 10. What's a wood hammer do? Uh, maintain, maintain or upgrade your structures against the wrath of Icarus. Okay, so I have to get levels and stuff, I guess. Yeah, so if I get enough wood, I can just throw down storage box, I guess. I just gotta level off that. I like this more than Sons of the fucking Forest. This is way better than Sons of the Forest. Shit. So felling a tree is actually a whole like thing, and I didn't realize. And I think I just like knocked one down, but yeah. Okay, so we got up in the tech tree. Now I need to be able to. Yeah, I suppose the hammer is, is definitely required. And then how do I like build things? That's just probably really good for, for temporary, but I'm looking for more permanent. Music's good.
Oh, I see it up there. Oh, I like this game. It's like a farming game. I see a level two in the top left. 14,000 out of 18,730. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to get a fucking jackhammer or whatever. If only Oxite were real. There was a little bit of food. When I leave, I'll be going out west. So that's the way I want my house to face. I want my house to be on the beach right here. Right here. Oh, I do like this game. It's like a better version of that other game and I can't think of it. It plays really well with others. It's getting later. It's 23 degrees Celsius. Can, we, can I change that? Show aim crosshair, multiplayer show item, show screen shake, user interface. Oh, here we go, Fahrenheit, there we go. Ah, oh, good, yes, get the startup movie, please. Yeah, I've got to get wood down before it gets too dark to see. Oh, no, no, that's not good. Too big. Too big. Too big. Yeah, well, that's all right. It's enough room. I want to make more uh, crafting of wood floors. Yep. And then where are they? It sticks. And where did the wood floors go? There they are. Okay, time to build a house. Okay, rotate variance. Wood floor, wood floor, wood floor, wood floor. Deconstruct, reset focus grid, or drop items. So, okay. That's fine.
Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine, twelve. Fifteen. I'll have to make another axe. Craft. It will fill every every tree on this island. Oh, I guess the stump will the stump grow back? No. But the stump is wood. I wonder if I can learn stone roof directly. Campfire and bed roll. Need stone now. My pickaxe. Oh, I've been using a pickaxe to fall trees. I'm stupid. It broke the axe, but that's all right. Oh, I love this fucking game. I love this game. I'm glad I bought it. I've been resisting buying this game because I was like, what if it's another Enshrouded or what's that other fucking game? I can't fucking think of it. I, I gotta consult my list. I own it. It's, um... Item broken, damn it. I don't know, I didn't need to make a second one. Oh well. Fur and leather, I'd have to hunt, but I, I, would, I would need to learn bow. <sighs> I am starving to death, yeah. Um, I guess I could go hunting, but I don't know, it might be kind of a bad idea. There's a rabbit. Oh, I got him though, pretty much instantly. That's not what I meant to do. 
It was crafting of a of a stone knife, which will take stone. Okay, I need stone. Do I? Okay. requires fuel. There was a little bit of food. Now I'm going to get charcoal. What did I need charcoal for? It was a water purifier. I love this fucking game. I'm going to uh, return the carousel select now so I can...
I love this game. I'm very happy with it. These four games, I might be pretty happy. Add some rust in, you know, on the wipes and stuff. I'm realizing now I don't have to hold back on the graphics on any of them really either. Like this one I do, because this one's super intense. But on low, it still plays really fucking well and, looks, and it looks really good. This still looks really good. I mean, I guess I could pump the one thing that that matters, I suppose. Yep. Yep, those cactuses look crappy without object detail. And the and it also looks crappy unless you turn up the uh, this and this, but all the rest of it I think is fine and low. Yeah, see, he doesn't look good unless his his uh, particle effects are turned up. Yep, but all the rest of it looks fine. None of it looks blurry or anything. Yep, object, de object details look good. I mean, I feel... Well, no, I don't know. I don't think I can. And I don't know about very high either. Very high is kind of greedy. I'm going to turn them down. High, high, high. I got a new driver today and it definitely did give me some performance improvement.
did kill me. Son of a bitch, those things are hard when you like have no weapon skill. He's fun. So I guess I could fucking fight a wolf, I guess. It's not really my favorite idea. Gamma's a little dark, but I don't mind that. Gamma's a little... Yeah, Gamma's a little... Like, I don't want it to look, like, bleached out like that. I look a little higher. This is a good game. I want to turn off the light. 